Hi, Zaki Chan. <clears throat> what is what, what what is this? Oh, are we live? Hi, Zaki Chan. Oh, fuck off. My name is Belia Chan. Um, it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Happy birthday! D d d d bond, sl sl slide, slide, slide in my DMs. What does he and me mean by that? I absolutely so, hate um, this bit. Go, go away, go, go away, go away, go. And this is not the birthday surprise I wanted. So that uh, uh, Ben can make it to the podcast. Ben Coon can make it to the podcast. So, uh, the all, all, only person available was me, Belia Chan, and he asked me to come. Me. I had serious <laughs> pre. I have uh, to give you my social security. I had to give Ben my social security number before the show. We're going to talk about the behind the scenes stuff where what? we talk behind everyone's back, all the stuff that I can't say out loud. All those, all the, all the, all the slurs you, you tell other about people. Ben all day. No, we don't have to talk about that. Good-looking little guy. Sorry, I have really high <sighs> ping. I have really high ping because I'm from Japan. Isn't Isaiah joining tonight? Sleep in my bed. Sleep in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Sleep in my bed. Hello, baby. Sleep in my bed. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. So this is how we're doing the podcast now, Mr. Zaki Koo? No, absolutely not. I'll I'll quit my job and work for you. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say to me? Well, if you can move back and forth, you should sit down in that little mouth right behind your back there. You just crawl back in that little mouth um, or one of those nostrils back have, there. Zaki so I sometimes like cut off. My mic is bad. You can say mine for gold. There's some gold back there. I'm trying to get in there. I can't. It's, it's tough. I can only. I can get really Ugh. close. I hope that uh, the great idea can. I hope that Scribbly Productions joins soon. Do you agree? Scribbly Productions can suck my, my... I actually leave Do you now. Do you like Chlamydia? Where could Zaki have gone? Where did Zaki go? I can't open my eyes fully sometimes. This is Zaki Kun's birthday bash. Sugoi! You having fun? Kawaii, Zaki Kun! If Isaiah joins, like, right I now, like <clears throat> I wouldn't blame him for uh, defriending me. Fall in love. Hmm? You don't think that he would fall in love with Belia Chan? No. If I did, that'd be really. If he did, that'd be really funny, though. Is this both Zaki Kun's birthday bash and the 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 matchmaking for the Great Isaiah Kun? If I could stomp on you, I would. Do you have wood when you want to stomp on me? Yeah, for more reasons than one. Do you like my eyes? What? Do you like my eyes? What? My eyes are really nice, right? Yeah, it's pretty big because so you can stomp on them pretty easy. That's 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 pretty cool. Why would you say that, Zaki Kun? That's violent. Sometimes, um, if I go to like a urinal, if I have to pee, 
I've realized that I'll pull my balls out like most of the time. And, um, you know, then like another person will come in and then I'll kind of be like, oh, it's kind of weird that I have my balls out, but I didn't mean to take them out. You know what I mean? Like I just did it instinctually. Like my balls are out of my zipper now. Yeah, give me no, give me a whiff. I want a whiff of those balls. Oh, you got a little surprise oh, under there. Sorry. Yeah, I can show you my balls and cock. Good. I hate. I, I I can't tell you how much I hate this right now. We get a VTuber girlfriend, dude. That's crazy. Are you so happy about this? I don't know why he keeps doing that. Let him in. I want we can match make. Where could he have gone, guys? Let's dance. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Zacky Coon. Happy birthday to you. Pomps, pomps, kimochi. Get this sticky stuff off me. They play with me until I smell like salty coins and milk. Morning, everyone. Today we're gonna have lots of fun. Zeki, Zeki Kun, you're muted. Muted, Zeki Kun. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear Isaiah Kun. Okay, let's try. Let's try that one more time. Oh, we got the great Isaiah. I said that crazy. Isaiah. Wait, am I talking? Oh, yeah, I am. My bad. Yes, you're talking. What's up? Hey, hey I don't know dude. what I came into. Yeah, I have no clue either. So Isaiah, Hi. everyone, Isaiah, everyone, the great Isaiah from the great Isaiah YouTube channel. He has what, like, uh, like a thousand subscribers or something like that? He's, pretty, he's a pretty big yes, deal. Yes, over 1,000. Cool. You just released a pretty, uh, pretty, a pretty big video too, suckers. huh? Yeah, I finished uh, part three of my one of my like my biggest series for with uh, Halo Machinima. Sorry, don't didn't mean to do that. D Halo, Halo. I quit. Are you talking about the Last Man Standing three? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> this is just, this is not what I expected to come yeah, into. Yeah, I watched it. It was a really good time. Time. Damn, he so really did is, leave. Uh, it's for Zaki Kid Coon's birthday today. Oh, is it's his birthday today? I figured that I'd give him a gift. Ah, oh, yeah, I bet I he loves it. I think it's tomorrow. It. How old's our boy turning? He does like little anime girls. I don't know how old he is. Maybe like, if I had to guess, is he like 24? I wish I knew how old Zaki Kun was. Huh. Where'd you get your outfit? <laughs> I, um, sorry, I have really bad ping. I'm from Japan. Cool. So I got my outfit at, um, my mom gave it to me as a present. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a birthday present from my mommy. I wish I could be Zach's birthday present. I think you already are. My eye can't open correctly sometimes. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna mention it. Just. <laughs> I do have Bell's palsy. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's when half of your face doesn't work. Where did Zach go? I have Bella's palsy. Tot, tot, kimochi. Get this sticky stuff off me. What the fuck? You heard that song? No, I have not. That was my favorite song. 
How's Last Man Standing 4 coming? It's coming. I got a good plan. The guy, it's all, it's all, most of it's in my head. So now I need to get it on paper. But it'll get done. I'm, I'm very optimistic it'll come out a lot sooner than the other ones. Didn't it take like two years for Last Man <laughs> Standing 3 to come? Yeah, it took forever because we were trying to get uh, mod tools to work. Um, they uh, Halo MCC I was recently getting them, and we were just kind of waiting for that to get advanced enough so we didn't need body actors anymore. Are you saying you're using AI to record these? I am. I, I, I rely on AI instead of hardworking body actors now. So is that? I can't imagine what, what that would be like. the hardest part about making a lot of my what is the hardest part? Uh, probably the sound design because of all the action scenes. I got to do like, I get lazy with it when I can, but I have to do like every bullet because I do my own sound design for the most part. I didn't have to do the animated action scenes for part three, though. Were you part of that, Zach, at all? Did you do it? You did editing for it, didn't you? No, I did all the, I, yeah, I did all the sound design, yeah. No, wait, you did slice and dice. Yeah. Yeah, See, no, I don't like Zach Akun, Lord. How, how committed are you to doing this the whole night? <laughs> I bring a guest into our home, and you invite this whore. The day before my birthday. Oh, this must be a sad episode, too. Man, I got some shit, ma'am. How, how old are you turning? I'm turning 25 tomorrow. Damn, I guess 24. Yeah. You were close. Um, nice, 25. I say, you like anime, right? Yeah, well, he looks cool. like he's 65. Is she from something? No, uh, VTubers are usually like, I mean, you can usually commission them, I think. And I, I mean, to be fair, there's like a million little fucking girl anime designs, like just a million of them. So there's no way I would know. But usually they're commissioned so because that's how they work. I think. I don't fuck it. I've seen Makes like sense. one video. Um, wait, what was this little anime girl's name again? Bella Cham? Belly Cham. Belly Cham. Did Ben pay money for you? Um, well, you see. I spend money on stupid things too. You can be has. honest with me. Well, he, there's this book that he has that has a bunch of names in it. I'm just one of those names. I meant the model. There's a little fucking cute thing in front of me. You think I look like a model? <clears throat> Supermodel? Something like that. I say, what do you feel about making a little machine out of these creatures? What is that? What are you? What do you? What is that? Oh, I meant Belly a Chan over here. Oh, I thought you were talking about your food. I mean, that's like, like I'm out of yeah. space too. <laughs> hmm. that, that that is a what is not wait. That is the stuff like leatheriest steak I've ever seen. At this point, honestly, that would be really similar to. I don't know. At a, that would just be so using it. That would literally just be. Using bootleg mocap because that's just mocap with like a VR suit, basically. I think kind of so it would mm -hmm. just be that. So at that point, I, ha I have a guy who even has a mocap suit. Like, I've used mocap, I was about to ask. I've had mocap scenes, so it's just using a mocap suit. I'm, I mean, I just got to finish off my series because I made a make a million of them. But once that's done, I am gonna just try to move over to animation. We're gonna go, we're <laughs> how gonna difficult do you think short. it would be what to have it? a team full of animators working full time? I think that'd be real. That's the fucking dream. That'd be really fucking cool. I, I don't like my biggest fear with that is I have I have experience running a team, but I don't know shit about animation. So like, would I have to actually hire an animation director and learn from them or would I should I wing it? Because but if I wing it and I, I don't really know what I'm doing, but at the same time, I, I think I know enough about animation. It's just well, you, you currently work with animators, just nothing in like 2D or nothing too crazy, right? It's just, I mean, when I like, I, I'm really ambitious, but like when I think of it, it's like, I know this one show called Steven Universe had problems because they just, animators could draw whatever they wanted. So characters were really inconsistent. So like, that's something that I would probably not notice. Even if I'm looking at a, bu a, a bunch of frames every day. I might not notice that like a character is twice the size they are supposed to be. And that would be my job. So it's just like small stuff like that, that I'm not 100% sure. How do I even do that? Yeah. But I might be able to figure it out. When is Halo I mean, Batman maybe you should just back? try a little like 30 second, like animations on your own. Yeah. I'm, I, I, that's what I, that's what I'm going to kind of try to save up for. I got a, 
I got to upload a lot this year. This is the first year I have actual time to plan and upload a lot of videos in November and December. Because those are when like uh, ad rates are the best and YouTubers upload a shit. To so what videos. are you trying to pull off for December? I mean, obviously this is public. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. No, no, it's fine. I, um, Sean, wait, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I asked a serious question. Sean, can you, can you like message Ben and like blackmail him with something really quick to make this bit stop? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Do you have like naked pictures of him or like, uh, like any kind of, actually I have bank account information. Yeah. I don't have any bank account information. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I have our PayPal. His Here. screen is not, his screen is frozen, right? Yeah, hmm? this is like an image. No, no, he's VTubing. He is a v, it's a VTuber. You can the blinking is him in the movie. I invite the most popular YouTuber on the internet <laughs> into our show. Ever. It's my birthday. It's supposed to be sad too. Oh, I happy fucking, birthday! And it's sponsored by Manscaped. <clears throat> I fucking put my goddamn d- dog yeah. down yesterday. I was gonna come oh. in this with a little somber thing, and and now I gotta deal with fucking VTubers and bullshit. I'm doing. I'm screen sad. sharing. I'm gonna. Birthday surprise. I'm gonna use oh, your credit God. card. How does um, birthday surprise? How easy was this to set up, Ben? You better not. What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> Sean, what's something cheap I can buy with Ben's <laughs> card? Um, go to baddragon.com. Okay. And then go to uh, well, Chance to Stallion. I can screen share that. I can screen share that. Okay. Um, I, and then there's like a second delay, and I can't. Where's Ben Hape? <laughs> Women. Um, You're looking at him. Girls.com. Whoa. <laughs> That's a fucking website. Anyways, Isaiah, what are you planning on releasing <laughs> later in December? Um, I was, uh, I'm working on, let's see what I'm, I'm working on a big, but buddies, uh, Christmas special. I've talked about that already. And then I'm trying to see if I can make, cause no one's made a, a tutorial on how to make machinima in like what fucking over 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least 15 years. So I'm going to try to make a really good one. Um, like is that really going to go on the main Isaiah channel? Yeah. Cause it's going to be usually, it's going to be like, what's, I mean, you probably know evergreen content. I'm just hoping right. that. People are going to Google how to make a machinima. I will probably get a lot of views on it. It'll be longer, so it'll have a lot of watch time. So it might just be able to sit in the background and gain views. Because, um, you know, digital, like uh, John CJG's had, was, uh, is the only mm-hmm. one I can think of that goes in depth. Fair enough. I just feel like your channel so much has been like uh, pretty mainline story content. You know, I wonder how like throwing a little tutorial video in there will do. It'll only be one, luckily. I'm, I'm just going to make one big video. I mean, eh, I, I don't, I, actually, I don't know. I, you know, sometimes I say no because I thought part three probably, I thought like I'll think something will do better than it will. But um, so I could be wrong, but eh, I want to make it anyway. And either way, it's just more views and more watch time, which is good for money. And also, yeah. cool. what is the, uh, what is the pipeline looking like for, uh, for the rest of the last man standing at the eight parts? Let's see. What is like, the what is the release schedule looking like? Don't don't, don't respond. Don't. don't. It's just ignore them. Okay. <laughs> but I'll ask. Imagine I asked you that question because I'm interested in it. <laughs> but just ignore. Okay, I'm gonna try to get. Oops, fucking phone. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna try to get. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, fucking bad shit. Insane. <laughs> fucking degenerate ADHD ch- podcast for absolute babies. <laughs> Um, I'm wait, trying to get the wait, first one, the next I'm one in dead, early wait. 2024. <laughs> and then part five is a really big part. So I'm going to give that at least a year. And then I'll try to get six and seven uh, so- out soon. Cause those are just like not extra parts, but they're just kind of like, they're not like part though. I don't know what'll be in them, but I'm hoping it, I'm not probably not going to try to do a bunch like parts five, part five. And then part eight will be another big part. So I'm hoping, so if you do the math, that's like 2024, then 2025, 2026. So about 2027. So four more years. <clears> three. How does it feel to have a fast. YouTube machinima plan for four more years? I hate it because I don't want to do it anymore, <clears> but I need the money and I need to grow my channel. So I have to do it. 
Why don't you uh, uh, you're playing, why don't you diversify? Why don't I what? I mean, that's not an awful question, oh. too. Well, someone else say it so I can hear it. How, how, do, how do you feel about diversifying your content <laughs> over the course of those four years alongside those plans? I just don't want to. I'd have to learn something new. I'm fucking with shorts a lot. Like, that's oh, the yeah, biggest thing. That. I just, it's hard to make videos and then I'll, I'll be the like, I mean, I have other people helping me at this point, but it's hard to make videos. And then also have to learn how to make a completely different different type of video. Because I tried that with GTA 5, but it was just like, it was just so time consuming to learn it that I just was like, ah, this just isn't working. Yeah, we, we tried our hand at making a GTA 5 machinima a long time ago, too, but the, the tools didn't quite exist for it yet. Yeah, it sucks. I think you guys would have made what great GTA 5 like machinimas. Making? Like, I think you guys would have loved that more than Halo machinimas. And I always thought that because, I mean, Ethan, Ethan will still play GTA 5 sometimes. <clears throat> True, true. I mean, I'll still play Halo sometimes too, but he certainly wouldn't. No, it's just he, that, like, I don't think the camera tools really it. existed in the same way, especially at the time. When he's like, I will not what install are, this. What he, content he do does you like not making? Around. So, Sean, how's your, how's your week been? It's been a while since I talked to you. Well, I've been shitting out content. Sorry for derailing the conversation for a bit, but during that time, Sean, you had mentioned um, like kind of getting together for like, uh, a meeting that like could potentially be a podcast. Yeah. I've always thought a really cool content strategy would to like involve like your fan base or your community and your content is having like staff meetings, right? Like you could have like certain content be around the actual production of your content itself. Right. And I, I had like bigger brain ideas of like, okay, well like a Patreon subscriber would get like staff t-shirt <laughs> merch and they could join the zooms and pitch ideas and stuff and all that kind of stuff. But that's like way far out there. Yeah, I just yeah. think in general, like kind of presenting it as like an internal staff meeting, but it's really just content about like your goals and where you want to be. Like could be a really interesting way to get like your fan base kind of invested in your content. Yeah. So a third person that we brought on <clears throat> is a mutual friend of Ben and I's name, Joey. And Joey, I need to talk to this guy, right? Yeah. You have not yet to talk to him, but uh, I really like jo Joey and I have had some heated. Uh, <laughs> Ben's been there. Like we've, we've, are yelled at each other before, but I really do like Joey. I like, and, and me and him talk a lot when we're not arguing. We, we get along really well, if that makes sense. Right. And, and um, so the, the past three weeks we've been, so the first episode was me, Joey and Tristan. Uh, and then last week was me and Joey. And then yesterday was me and Joey. Uh, so over the weekend, I'm going to edit those three videos and just upload them. And then I, I, told Tristan that going forward we're it's Joey we're, we're gonna keep doing it because it's about because we all have our goals you just want to do content to bounce off of that to you Isaiah because I feel like you're someone that's built like a really large community of people that are kind of engaged in your content too was that something that was like like really hard at the beginning like was that like an idea that you kind of envisioned towards the beginning of having like this I know that now it's kind of manifested in your discord server and that really didn't exist in that capacity at the time but was there some kind of like larger like vision or strategy there or like how did that kind of come to be? No, I think I would say when it was Discord, once Discord came out, it was like, oh, wow, you can really like, you can actually organize this. Because before Discord, I mean, there were machinima communities. I mean, we we met on one, but that was, I think this yes. was even earlier. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, that's, that, that's, so, that was so long ago. Yeah, it's crazy. I forgot all about that. We each other for a long fucking time. Like. That's cr it's crazy. How, wait, when did we, what what year was that when we did that like initial like podcast? I, was thing. I don't think I was making Misfits yet because you were in Misfits. So it was Isaiah and Brian. And I was making Misfits in college. And that was so that was like 2014. It's It's been about 10 years since we met. I think next wow. year will be 10 years. We're going to celebrate a 10 years of uh, of weird production friendship. This is kind of this is kind of another thing too. Is like we're all kind of like creative people, right? And I like to consider everyone in this call, except for Belia, fuck a friend, <laughs> right? Um, but we're all like creative people that like to work together too. So like that's that's a bit of an interesting dynamic where like you're trying to like create something together, but like are also trying to to be friends, you know, and kind of maintain that relationship. Yeah. By the way, I don't think Sean and Isaiah have ever met each other, so I don't know, if, Sean, if you're aware of Isaiah and what he does. I, but, um, I'm, I actually was going to ask or I was going to go look for your channel again. I did when I first heard about you, I clicked and watched some of your vides, but it has been just to familiarize myself. But 
No, I'm you. aware that I'm within uh, in the presence of royalty or something. In the presence yeah. of YouTube royalty, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Discord royalty too. You have a pretty big how big is your Discord server? It's a little it's a little over a thousand people. We were stuck we were stuck at a thousand for a while. Hmm. I am um, have no experience, and I hope it's not offensive for me to butt in with this, but um I make chess content. Uh, and I've been following this guy in the chess community. There's this, you have an ELO rating mm-hmm. and there's these milestones that you ideally want to hit. There's like a thousand ELO, 1500 ELO, 2000 ELO. Um, and there's this guy that I started following who's 1300 or he was 1300 named, uh, his channel name was Chess with Patrick. And we started like, I'd message like, Hey, that was a really good game. You know, X, Y, and Z. I'm nowhere near as good as him, but you know, whatever. And I was like, bro, you should start a Discord. He went from like 100 subscribers. And within a couple months, he was already at like 1.5K subscribers. And now I think he's at 2.7 mm. or something. And I was like, you definitely should start a Discord. I think it'd be interesting as long as, you know, that's something you were interested in. And so now I'm an admin in that Discord. And um, suddenly there's like 150 people in there. And I was like, Jesus Christ. this! Like, do, you way post, more- do you post your chess content in that Discord? Yeah, occasionally. The, the problem- You don't want to spam it? Yeah, that's the only thing. Is I, I, I've, And he said he's fine with it. He's actually said he's fine with me posting my stuff. It just feels a little weird. But I, I'm very active in the Discord. I talk a lot with people. Mm. I recently just did an experiment. You don't want to be make a fucking a- leech. What? <laughs> what? You don't want to be a fucking leech. Yeah, I know. I can't take that seriously. I don't no, know. I can't. You should have seen me. I mean, you'll see it whenever this comes out. But when it was just me and and, and Bella Delphine over here or whatever her name is, uh, it, I I couldn't I couldn't maintain um, any just, form of a sentence. I, I'm you gonna left make me alone with it for even longer. You just left. I didn't oh, you have no clue how long I was alone with it, buddy. <laughs> I, so I, I'm working on a, a relatively longer form video where uh, chess.com has a has a system where it gives you your actual ELO based on how you actually play, how many games you play, how many games you win and lose. But there's also the estimated ELO for each game you play. It'll say, wow, you played like an 1100 or whatever. And I just did an experiment that showed that that completely changes based on your actual ELO. So if two 800s play a game, and then two 3200s play the exact same game, the estimated ELO, even though the, mm. all the moves are exactly the same, are very different. And uh, I wanted to do it. So, so I posted that in the Discord, and now that's like a huge discussion. The problem is with chess, the biggest problem with chess is that like 50% of the players are like <laughs> under the age of 18. And I'm in this Discord, and it's just fucking like, Really, fifty percent of the chess yeah, players are uh, under eighteen. Yeah, um, ch- children's. A lot of chess players are like, I, I streamed chess. I had like ten viewers. All of them were like, "Oh yeah, I'm like thirteen. I'm like 14. What and are they from America? Some of them are. Some of them are from like in India. Is a really big chess thing. Mm, chess was is, that. was invented in India. Was it really? Yeah, uh, it was originally. Mm. I don't remember what the original name was called, but it it like was traded or something in China, and it became chess in like x amount bc or some shit like that but um long story short this chess server is like okay I, I i'll literally like at this point i'll be saying something and someone will respond and i'm like are you 13 like in my head i have to like gauge whether or not i can have an actual conversation with this person right. because because hmm. they talk you know nothing against 13 14 year olds it's very obvious that they're 13 or 14 when they talk and it's like right oh, I find that interesting too about your your community too, Isaiah. Not to put like your community down or anything, but there's a lot of younger people in your fan base, and I just I find that particularly interesting because to me, when I think of like what's the golden age of Machinimas, right? What's the mm. uh, like peak period? It's like when I was in like middle school, high school, right? And so it's interesting to see people still in that kind of age group gravitate towards that type of content, and like. I don't know. You might understand your audience better than I can. I just struggle to see like why. Uh, I think, I don't know. I think it's more the, vo- the more vocal people, but I don't know. My statistics say my audience skews older, but huh. in, uh, people don't, I don't know how much people trust that, but also, I don't know. I feel like people don't really, do people still, I guess I'm not a kid though. So I don't think about lying on my stuff because I don't have to. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people are lying, but that's what it tells me. Sure. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Just like a vocal minority, right? Like an older group of people are going to watch your content, but they're not going to like sit there all day and like message well, everyone on discord like a you know someone in high school might exactly right like there's an engagement difference there too because i i was watching a i was into buckethead and i the saw the guitar player yeah and there Wait, he still didn't he die no i don't i don't think he died he might have i know uh, jimmy buffett died rest in peace i like jimmy buffett too is buckethead dead rest in peace jimmy buffett Oh, he says he's 54. Um, I saw like a 67-year-old, like old wrinkly dude playing a Buckethead song. And I was like, I didn't know people 67 or whatever <laughs> were listening to Buckethead. But guy who wears a crazy. KFC helmet and a mask on stage. But So yeah, I don't know. Is that the, I think, the, the band that I mean a show off of? No, I don't. No, it's not a band. Um, Buckethead is like... Play? No, you're thinking of Metal Apocalypse, right? Metal Apocalypse. Yeah, that's Death Metal Clock. Apocalypse. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, Death Clock. That's yeah. like heavy metal music. But, um, no, I mean, that's all to say. I, I only brought that up sort of as a non sequitur, but I brought that up as like, it's weird to see... I have a, I'm trying to keep a much more open mind about what a community is comprised of in terms of mm. the people in it. But then, Yeah, I feel like it's really easy to say like, oh, I'm trying to build a community, but then like, you know, yeah. what, is that, what does that mean? Yeah, and the thing is, is like, um, because I'm an admin in this chess server, and these two guys were talking, and like, it's really weird to call a 15 year old egotistical because I think 15 year olds are just dumb, so they don't, they're not like smart enough to be egotistical in one sense. But there's the, there were these two people who were talking about chess in a very like egotistical. Sorry, I dropped something. In like a very egotistical way, and someone even like called it out like, Hey, you know, cut the, you know, we know you're good, but like cut the ego. And I was like, they were talking about being like rated 1600. And I'm like, yeah, I'm only rated like 900. And, uh, they said something like, Oh, uh, I basically, it came out that they were like 13 and 14. And I'm like, Holy fuck. I'm older than your ages combined. <laughs> and then their comment, one of them commented like, Oh, don't have shame. It's easier for young people to learn chess. And I was like, don't ever fucking say that to me again. You. Uh, but, but I said that I went right to the admin chat and I was like, listen, um, I didn't realize there would be a bunch of minors in this thing. I think we should kind of reassess some rules or maybe like have a code of conduct thing. And a, a bunch of people were like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then... Um, look at you, pro Discord mod. Yeah, and then... I st we started making the thing and then I was like, well, it is just a chess server. So like, do I go ham and be like, no swearing or what? You know what no I mean? No swearing in the chess server. But like, it's a chess server. So you're not expecting like people to come and be weird. Maybe that's but, your niche. Maybe that's how you get popular. You're like the crass chess guy. No, there's the, already the stuff uh, you've done on this show. Combine no. that with your chess playing. There's already like a couple of crass, like drunk chess players, and they're really good. You don't need to get drunk. Yeah, but I would want to. How do we feel about <laughs> personality driven content? How do we feel about personality driven content? What does that mean? I, I don't, I'm not familiar with shit. Um, let me, let's see if I, I think, can define it. Let's I think see. Isaiah is that like, really I mean, that's just anything <laughs> led by one person, right? Like anything where just the person, they just play video games, Ooh. like Markiplier. I don't like. I was going to say, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I totally understand. I'll, 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 let me back up for a second. I seem to have, when I live stream chess, I had people who were actively, or even when I live stream like Elden Ring, I don't really talk much to the chat. And But when I did, I felt like there was this weird engagement where I was like, "You're." I would never, ever comment on a live video. And I barely, with Chess with Patrick, I barely would, I would be like, Hey man, good job. I thought like, Oh, this guy's like, he's like a 30 something year old man, like living with his wife and kids and he's just playing chess. So maybe I'll give him some word of encouragement, but I got, it was never anything like super serious or any critique thing. I don't know. I don't understand. Like when I see like a Markiplier or like a PewDiePie, I, I really, or like a, a Kai Sinat. I don't know how that riot shit happened. Like I don't, I don't I, think that one, like look, there's a lot of shit people do say about Kai Sinat on the internet. That riot thing. I, 
I mean, maybe I'm missing something. It doesn't feel like that's his fault to me. No, no, I don't. I'm, oh, yeah, not. I don't think it's his fault. I'm not at all. saying you're, that's what you're saying. I'm just yeah, saying like I'm, people say that, and I just personally don't get that. What, what I'm saying is, I don't understand how people care about the personality of. I, I and the thing is, I find that I do care about the personality in the sense of like, there's a bunch of content creators that I watch. I, I mean, this like this is actually something that I was talking about on the new podcast that I was doing with my friend Joey is that like we were talking about consumerism and whether or not like on the one hand it is obviously entertaining if someone came on and starts doing drama you know like oh yeah this fucking dude or like you know um but like i also am sort of like weirdly repulsed when i know i was i've talked with ben about this when i know that a youtuber is like either reading a script or putting on an act mm-hmm. i i much prefer like a genuine thing and a lot of the times i sense I mean, even something subtle like um, like Pokemon, Pokimane, uh, or um, any of the like OTK streamers, for the most part, I get the sense that they're like, as soon as the camera goes off, they're a different person. And I kind of, I get marketability. I get sort of putting on an act or showing a certain face. I just hate that. Like there's something really gross. And I don't mean to judge that in a way, because I know that they're, they're a, getting a bag, you know. Well, I, they're getting a bag. It's it's a way to make money. And to be honest, it is a skill set. Uh, pr- presentation is a skill set. And yeah, I don't could, mean to, could you pull that off? I don't think I, I think could. you could. No, I, I think you could. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, we got a real fucking pro in the call today, huh? I also hate React. Okay. Well, no, React streamers <laughs> are... I think that's different, right? No, I also hate React. Oh, the act. Yeah. I was thinking about this earlier today. Um, yes, I guess I didn't. Me off. Uh, <laughs> You're pissing I, I, me off. Turn that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to use his credit card. Yeah, we'll save that. He'll know that <clears throat> when he sees a two hundred dollar charge tonight. Well, wait, wait, Who wait, Who did it? Wait, wait, wait. I want to know if it's what kind of uh, content Isaiah likes to make. I do have a, a, a extension of this, but Isaiah, what kind of content do you like to make? I hope it's I hope it's Halo Machinimas. Yeah, I do like making Halo Machinima. One thing I'm pretty passionate about now is uh, is um, video essays, like talking about personality driven content, <laughs> talking about uh, like TV shows and stuff, and YouTubers I like. Uh, I'm having trouble like I've I've tried a couple times, and I'm having trouble like finding my voice, but I, I think I got it and I'm more, that's what I'm like working on on the side now. Oh, hard pivot. It's, it's going to be a super, a completely different channel because I have animation and stuff. So as long as I finish my machinima parts, as long as I finish a video a month, which I'm pretty sure I can do, then I can, uh, I can just work on that on the side. Bro. My buddy Ty is going to help me edit. Oh, I, I love Ty. Um, yeah, great. we should get Ty I just, on this I show. I haven't talked to him in a oh long God, time. I would absolutely I just had drunken noodles. Would he really? I thought, I figured he I probably wouldn't. Doing. It's been such a long time uh, since I've talked to him. That's what, but Ty's weird. Ty likes that. I think he, he's really busy right now. He He's working for, well, you know, I probably shouldn't say actually. He's uh, he's super busy right now, but um, he should be done being busy by like actually the 10th. So yeah, you should act. I'll reach out to him. Ty. Yeah, I'll reach out to Ty. Um, yeah, Do that would be awesome. you think should talk to Belly Jin? No. No. No, no, no. I think you'd like it too much, actually. actually it would be really annoying. <laughs> yeah, that might be the way to get him on the show. Um, oh, but yeah, no, Isaiah, I'm, I'm like, if you could see my YouTube feed right now, it's like 100% video essays. Like, I'm so Now, when you say video, hole, essay, like, video do you essays, mean, do you mean uh, uh, like D'Angelo Wallace or do you mean like ContraPoints? Okay, you can't just name people I've never heard of and expect me to know exactly what you mean. Okay, uh, do you mean... A uh, guy in front of camera talking about what he likes, or person like doing both. large pre- presentation with like uh, dress Mo- up and stuff. M- mostly the large presentation, but I like both. I like uh, Amp Lemon a lot. Some of his personal opinions I've seen outside of it, I kind of go like, eh. But like uh, m- for the Google most it. part, oh, shit, Am- he's ugly. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, you know, I googled Amp Lemon, we're, we're and the first picture models. is Mr. Beast. What? The first person you when you look up Amp Lemon is Mr. Beast? He has like a million subscribers or something. Oh man, I'll show you. I'll put it in uh, Definitely guest Definitely at least a million. Oh, oh yeah. Well that must be from a thumbnail for something. I don't I don't know, man. But like I love like lost media content. I oh, love shit. just like I, okay, random. Amp Lemon, little... I was wondering why that's I'm so sorry. I wonder why that sounds familiar. I watched his Hungry Box video three years ago. Yeah. 
And yeah, I, I just, I just am all over that type of content, and I would like to try to make it myself. The issue is just like my editing time. I, I, I'm, 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 I could genuinely say this now. I am a professional video editor. Like I, from the moment I wake up, I'm editing. I'm either editing or I'm hanging out with like my girlfriend or playing Xbox. That's like the three things I do. Like. Zaki all day Kuhn. long. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Zaki Kuhn. It is so easy. I hope you choke on your vomit. You really have the voice for it. You have the <laughs> smart for it. You're so smart and good looking, Zaki Kuhn. <laughs> this is good. You can do this. This is disturbing. This is I want. I want to. I want to say something so bad, but we have a. We have a. We have a guest in this house, so I will. I will um, refrain. I'm looking for how saying. did I kill our people? Okay. I, I keep I'm I'm running into this thing where I, I don't have the skill set to do like video editing, like, even if it were for my own thing. Oh, yeah, but, you should you should show me what you're working with. You were asking some questions about video editing recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But w- what I'm getting at is. The chess content that I've been putting out, it has been very like I screen record me playing a chess game and then I add a game booster and I just upload that with a thumbnail of a screenshot of the end screen of the game. Um, and I sometimes will add like an overlay of like me doing a react face or something like that. Um, but I, I'm more experimental I, with your thumbnail, right. Sean. But I, the whole Get reason, the whole reason that I'm doing it this way is because I, I have like a 45 minute commute to work, you know, to or fro. And I really just don't have the time to be what do you, doing Do you it. commute in the car or on a bus or in the car? But get a, I'm, get, use your you don't you have a GoPro? Fucking do your intros while you're driving, like literally while you're driving. Be like, guys, I'm on my way to work, but I just want to tell you about this fucking sit game I played last night. You yeah. Know? Okay. So so okay. So for this month, I'm doing two videos a day, and at the end two of the videos month, a day. Yeah. So I get up. I get up at five thirty in the morning to go for a run, and then I come home. I shower. I have breakfast, and then I do ten minutes of chess puzzles, and then I upload that. <laughs> Then I go to work and I come home and I play a chess game. <laughs> and then I upload that. So it's not that bad. Hmm. Um, and then I was telling Ben this over the weekend, I'm going to sort of plan out and figure out the best way to make shorts because I, I play a lot of chess on my phone now and I could easily get an app on the phone or even chess.com saves all of my games. I could go onto my computer, screen record, the six, nine by sixteen or sixteen by nine, yeah. whatever the thing is, and then just turn those into shorts. So it's not hard how, to make. I have a, I have an idea. How how if you were to take like one second of every move in a chess game and have it be like yeah yeah yeah. Could you fit that into a short and be yeah, like one actually, minute chess so, games? So some of my largest two months ago, I did thirty days of one video a day, and what I was doing with I guess it's called gr- grudge or a uh, grunge or a. Uh, uh, there's some term for it for uh, the, on the top there's one video and on the bottom there's another video. Oh, the um, sludge the, content. Uh, sludge content. What is it? The why can't I think of the subway surfers content? Yeah. So the top video would be my cat purring, me scratching my. I put the You've GoPro on. You've done this on. before. Yeah, I yeah. put the GoPro on and then I just pet my cat and then at the bottom is the chest thing. Ladies. And that got like fifteen hundred views. Uh, a couple of those got like a, over a thousand views. Uh, they're shorts, obviously. Um, I, I want to go back to that. Um, cause I think that got me like 40 subscribers. I'm at like 40 subscribers and I think it's all because of shorts. I think maybe there's a point though, where you try that out for a bit and you, you maybe at one point, like, I don't know. Cause I, I, I maybe it's just me personally. If I saw like videos of a bunch of cats purring and chess, uh, just games, I don't know. I feel like I'd want something more, but I feel like I've been surprised by what other people yeah, gravitate well, I'm surprised towards. in general. I, I I told Ben like when I started doing this, I was positive I'd get no like one or two views, and that would probably be from friends. But I'll post a fucking thirty minute video of me playing chess, and it'll get sixty views, and I'm like, that's way more yeah. than. <laughs> I think the super. I think the um the the superpower of what Isaiah and Sean here are doing compared to us, because like I think Ben and I. Uh, you know, I wish I could talk to the fool again. You know, I know he's had some big life updates and stuff. I'd like to, you know, touch heart to heart it's with him about. Um, nah, he can go fuck himself. He's dead to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I hope he's fucking dead in the Cleveland River, dude. Yeah. I bet we'll never explain that. We'll just move past that. Um, 
what was I saying? Um, oh yeah. As you guys are like in super niched content, right? Like you're doing like chess content. So like YouTube knows people that are interested in chess, people that are looking up things about chess, like your video fits into that. Same thing with Isaiah, right? Like people that are interested in like halo content, machinimas, like story driven, like kind of online content, they know like that's a puzzle piece fit this channel. Like, yeah, you could say people that like podcasts, but I feel like the people that sit around and watch the Joe Rogan experience aren't, is hearing like four goobs yeah, yeah, mess yeah. around with Balea Chan, right? We make great content. Our editing's excellent. Our thumbnails are on point. Like we make good stuff. I just think that like we struggle to like tick a box that YouTube's looking for to like directly push stuff to some people. And I think that's fine. We're making stuff that we enjoy and hopefully that pays off long term, right? But um, I, th- I think like you have an advantage with like you both, you and Isaiah have an advantage with like directly targeting your content we should do well now actually i don't want to suggest content but you think you could do a machinima of chess in halo in halo chess in halo like if you got like that's crazy to say that it was mostly dialogue you you could definitely do a story around that and there's definitely a chess mod like People will have done. Actually, stuff that's a really good idea. Like getting so a chess that, mod for MCC so and being like winning a chess game in Halo. Yeah. Um, chess.com wait, just wait, recently. Wait, con- wait. Uh, oh, shut the fuck up. Chess.com recently partnered with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, what's that? Clash Rumble, uh, that mobile game. Oh, Clash of Clans, right? Clash Royale. Oh. Uh, Rumble Royale, something. They, chess.com is like, and it's blowing up on chess YouTube. I was like, oh, I played the Barbarian. I played against the Witch or something. I played Spell Chess. It's like, I don't give a fuck about that. But Halo Chess, I, I care Big about brain. that. I care about that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, Sean, you can do that fucking machinima yourself, dumbass. <laughs> I can't. <that's laughs> funny. Go on. In what sense? Like, you I mean, I could do it yourself. How about fucking Halo MCC and record a chess machinima, dumbass? But that, okay, but I don't know what that means. Like the mod you're saying, or like just by my side. You hate no open up fucking theater mode, bro, and just record shit. I oh, can't yes. just against what you know you're doing, bro. <laughs> you're pissing me off. <laughs> you should just pick a <laughs> just you have no idea, bro. Can you mute the host of a call? Is that possible? <laughs> Can we all vote to mute the host of a call? Um, no, actually, Ben's gonna be back soon. He he just called me. I don't want Ben to be back soon. I want Ben to be gone. Oh, you want? Oh, you want me Anyways, to say? I don't. I don't. For, frankly, I want you to not say anything. That's not very nice, Zach. So I think, like, I wonder if there's any other like ways you could do like your favorite yeah. video games in chess content, right? Yeah. I don't know what that looks like, but maybe there's a skin or something well i've been trying to like, i've been sl- like uh my friend david is in the chess server and we we do make videos together or at least we talk about making video we play games together and uh we have a couple ideas that we're probably going to do over the maybe not this weekend because my parents are visiting and stuff but um i'm trying to get a little more engaged with the other content creators the problem is like a couple of the concrete content creators are like 15 year olds who stream on twitch and like I was talking with Haley about this. I don't mean to sound any type of way, but I almost refuse to make content with 15-year-old kids. Like, I, I just, that feels so weird to me. To yeah. Be- I mean, there's there's an element of, like, working with certain people online where it's, like, whatever, but, like, to be directly collaborating with, like, And like the problem is, is I, don't, I don't mind not being as good, but the 15-year-olds are better than me, and they fucking don't although that's an awesome title is like cr- crushing a 13 year old eating children in, in chess yeah, or beating children in chess. in chess or like i got my ass whooped by a 12 year old in chess like one of the two well, what's, you gotta be what's, more experimental, experimental with the thumbnails bro you gotta put i'll a show you what i'll get experimental with yeah chess. i'm not i'm not really comfortable with that only because I, if i actually played a child in chess and then made a thumbnail on a video in which i do beat them I don't know how they would feel like that feels there's like a, a gray area there for me. Fake well, then kid, just get beat. Fake kid. Fake kid there. Just punch him. <laughs> just punch a fake kid in the thumbnail. We'll see about it's it. It's so easy, dude. You're, you're a out. 
but, but, uh, but I've been thinking about, um, because I want to, I do want to add a bit more to the content and I'm thinking about, I was talking with Ben about this. I, I I'm thinking about, I got a guitar and a bass and I have FL studio. I'm thinking about putting do together. You have it, SL, do you buy FL studio? I bought FL studio like FL two studio. years ago. I bought FL studio like two years ago. Wow. Yes, and, uh, and, uh, and I have this keyboard too. I have my, uh. I have my MIDI keyboard. Bro, he's so lying. He stole it. So I'm thinking about making an intro and an outro, but... Have you ever made music in your life? Yeah. I, I'm actually... I'm, I'm not terrible at music. I oh, just, there you go. I just... I don't yeah. mean that to put you down, by no, the way. No, 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 no. Have a good, have two guitars back there, a DJ board, and a pirated copy no, of that no, Studio. No, no, it's a good question. <laughs> I, I didn't take right a... now. <laughs> no. I, I, mean, I didn't take offense. Fuck now. I, didn't, I didn't take offense to it. I'm just saying, like, my problem is more like a an actualization thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's mm. a part of me that is the reason I set. I feel like I'm derailing the conversation. You know, we can uh, talk about anything. Okay. I feel like I just joined, but like, um, well, we only have like uh, three quarters of a full call here, so it's okay. I set up the goal for this month to to be as. Uh, Two videos a day was pushing it for me in ter- in my own head. It, it actually feels pretty doable now, now that I'm like seven days in. Um, so I am feeling a little more confident with pushing the boundaries, but I don't want to like overextend, if you know what I mean. Like, So I'm thinking either right. this weekend or next weekend, I'll put together like intros and outros, at least for the long form videos. Interesting. Hold I do on, want to ask- I have to leave. I have to get out of here. I'll be right back. Good. Good. You don't need to announce it. Well, no, like, Ben will be right back, I mean. I don't... I, I, whatever, man. All right, hold on. I do want to ask Isaiah some more questions at some point. I feel yeah. like I need to be spreading the love of this conversation around. But your your uh, question on um, personality-driven content, right? I think the switching back and forth was working personally. I liked hearing about the chess. I thought I think that's really... I think the chess content's really interesting. But you, well, you guys, a question. I was just, you, I, I thought, I thought you were good. I was no, fine. no, no. I don't have an issue with talking about chess. I was just saying, like, a jump back and forth. Um, but that's not even what I was going to ask about. When we were talking about personality-driven content this morning on my ride to work, I was literally thinking about Anthony Fantano. Pause. But I was thinking about him because um, there's a lot of other like reviewers, like review channels out there that feel like a company, right? Like some kind of IGN Kotaku thing, right? Like hip hop reviewers that have multiple personalities and they're a company to where like if someone got hit by a bus, they could still keep making videos, right? Right. But I was thinking about this and I was like, what if I'm in Anthony Fantano's shoes, right? Where I'm reviewing music every day. And um, uh, so far I'm doing a good job at keeping up with the culture despite getting a little bit older. But like, what if it just hits me 15 years from now? Like now all of a sudden I'm realizing I'm disconnected I want to do other things with my life, et cetera. I, I, I didn't have a solution to this. It was just literally, literally what I was thinking in my mind. Do those people feel like locked in in a particular type of way, right? Where like, if something happens to me, this stuff okay. is just gone forever. Or like, oh my God, what have I, not what have I done with my life? Because they're doing well, like better than me at that point in his life. But like, I wonder if there's a certain level where you kind of feel like, oh, now I'm doing this because I like, I'm locked in. I kind of have to. You know, I, um, we definitely do not have to stick on this because I think it'd be sort of a little hard to separate what I'm about to say with what I, I mean and what I also feel. But I think a lot of content creators in general, and then speaking of Anthony, Anthony Fantano, I've had this sense lately because I don't follow him, but I watch, I wa- I, if a new album comes out that I like, I do go to Anthony They're Pretty Fantano. much the same. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like content creators either fade or, or move into a, a, a new section of their work fairly smoothly. Like I think what I'm about to say, Anthony did. And I think other content creators will sometimes be like, uh, the world number two in chess, Hikaru Nakamura, I think he's number three now. Um, s- said he retired from professional chess and he's now a streamer. And he was saying... Oh, you told me about this, yeah. yeah he, he was saying how, like, you just have to expect to get worse at chess when you're not doing it professionally anymore. 
but in a way he's gotten better. It doesn't matter. He, the point is he pivoted from something he, he really liked into thing into streaming really well. And it, all he did was stream chess. And now he's starting to branch out into other video games because people are like, oh, I wonder how Hikaru does with this skill-based game or this. And that has been very smooth, but I think he was... I think he was uh, trepidatious or whatever about doing that because he's really good at chess and he doesn't want to be bad at anything else, you know? But with Anthony Fantano, this is going to be very cynical, so we definitely don't have to, like, stick on it, but I'm finding... Let's stick on it. I, I saw his review of Richmond North of Richmond. and I I'm unfamiliar. Fa- the song Richmond North of Richmond is not... I've already said this in a different Discord... I think it's all over the place. I think the writing is poor. I think he sings really well. The po- it's a little contradictory in some things. I think he loses the plot in terms of I, I could I could musically critique him. I really like like in terms of like working class songs. Like Working Class Hero by John Lennon is really good. That's or, a really good song. Um, there's a bunch of songs that I think are much better written. I don't, oh, was this that like ginger guy that played yeah. that country song that pissed everyone yeah, so, off? So it's called Richmond North of Richmond. And I interpret it as like rich capitalists or like rich, not capitalists per se, but uh, business owners or like, I didn't even think about Richmond, Virginia, uh, north of that is Washington, D.C. I, I don't even know geography that well, but I never once thought that it was North versus South. And Anthony Fantano immediately was like, yeah, so Richmond was the capital of the the uh, uh, the, seced- the seceding South, the Mason Dixon. He started going this weird whole political route about how uh, this this song is was a dog whistle for racism and pro slavery, and it just it hit me like they're not even reviewing the music anymore. And I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's because in this right. one particular instance I don't know if it's because he's like ah the, the song's not that good, but I need to make content or something. Or if he is trying to be more political, I don't follow him. Well, so I don't I don't know if that's a transition that he's been doing or. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the song, so I'm not going to comment yeah, on the like yeah, contents yeah. of the song personally. But I do know Anthony Fantano like wears his politics on his sleeve, right? Like he will absolutely okay, I, I didn't he, know that, he yeah. will absolutely let his politics like. Um, OK, like so then, so then I, I think it's, I think then my point is 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 moot. Because the only reason I brought that up was not to discuss the politics of the song, but to say, like, it feels like someone like Anthony Fantano might feel pigeon held. And so he would have to slow. He would have to sort of like surreptitiously or subtly transition into like, this is a politics thing now. But if that's how he mm-hmm. always is, then. I think the theme for this episode has been trying to get experimental with his content. What's the word? And a longer wire. What's the what's the, the, the lighting for your room looks like you're about to get executed in like an ISIS video or Bro, something. Look at my fucking room. It's empty. Other stuff in it. Ben yeah. uh, Ben sent to the a picture to the Discord of him like packing and he goes, guys, do you see my room? And we're like, you cleaned? <laughs> like it's <laughs> 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 uh, so you yeah. know, it's gonna be nice to Ben today, but he can fucking die for all I care. Bro, the microphone been, falls into your mouth and you choke. I didn't, I didn't even talk to you today, bro. That's not true. Is there a reason you're not sitting? I don't. I don't get. I was trying to like reinforce that I was moving out. Like that was going to be the bit. So you became a VTuber. (laughs) That was belly (laughs) a chin. That wasn't me. (laughs) Was that my whole birthday surprise? Yeah, I meant I was forgot to buy you something. (laughs) You didn't buy me. Yeah, you didn't buy me a a a freaking Rolex, dude. Yeah, Yeah, I was gonna buy you a Rolex. I'll I'll buy you. I'll buy you a container with which you can put coffee in and send me coffee. Oh yes, actually, (laughs) I know. I keep saying I'm gonna do (laughs) that. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about. Don't Um, be surprised if you get a DM at some point. Go ahead. Um, I actually, but I did want to like continue Belia Chan's conversation with Isaiah. But I, uh, she was just had high ping, so I think she just got lost in the conversation a little bit. Um, I'm just curious because Isaiah said something about um, not wanting to do it, do machinimas anymore, and that might have been like a half joke um, or what. But I'm just interested to like because it, uh, he wants to, you, Isaiah. You talk about doing like um, like video essays and stuff, but that's not personality driven at all. Are you? Uh, not for the personality driven content. Is that not I your... guess I misunderstood what I think like, cause like I'm, 
I guess, uh, you know what? I know what you mean. Because I said video essay. When I said video essay, I think I meant more movie commentaries. Because I've been watching okay. a lot of stuff like that. Like, maybe not even movie commentaries. Like, literally, I my thing is that I'm I'm getting interested in, like, retrospective. So, I, I, I've been watching this guy who's just watching through classic Disney shows. He watched through uh, Wizards of Waverly Place and then... Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Oh, what's his I name? Like Ellis Mark? Is that who you're talking about? I love Ellis Mark. Probably. If you know it, it's it's they go, they always get like millions of views. Yeah. And it's just oh. that's the kind of content I really like because it's the it's a fun recap, but it's definitely his personality that makes me watch the whole video. We, we've we've talked about Ellis Mark before. Remember, I brought him up because he did the he watched through all of the Simpsons and through all of Family oh, Guy. Is that that guy? I haven't watched. Yeah, dude, he did like those twelve-hour long videos. They're insane. Oh my god, he's insane. Dude, he just no watched Connor. Movie. I don't know yeah, him, but feel free to elaborate. Is that was, is that also a personality? Is that would you call that a personality? Yeah, commentary channel. Yeah. So let, let's let's commentary rephrase this. channel. That was my bad. You're right. Video essays are about the movie. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. There. So let's let's turn this question on its head. What YouTube channels would you give me as an example that are not personality driven? Yeah. Uh, me? Um, no, anyone? I got um like. Ah. Do you know every frame of painting? That's a really old one. I think they stopped making oh, videos. Oh, I, 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 that name is stuck in my head from it's somewhere, like a, but it I couldn't. It was a very, a very like a, one of the first big movie video essay channels, and they just mm. made, they just talked about the dissection of the story, and it was less of a personality and more of just a voice and the. But oh, you could argue the writing. There was another YouTube channel that did uh, f- like philosophy, so it was like the philosophy of Full Metal Alchemist or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like like things where you're not you're not talking. You're just a yeah. You're just a voice essentially. You're, yeah, like, you're more just like, a voice. Like um, JCS. Okay. Journal psychology. That's so a good is example. The, is the real difference there just like being energetic and you in like a weird enough voice to it's be like a, of notice? It's the individual. It's not. It's not the content. Like if I made individual. the exact same video with this voice right here on a well-researched topic versus. If you're, this if is you're my not, opinion on a well-researched topic. Is that literally the only difference of what you're you're talking about? Kind of. I mean, I mean, if if as long as you when you're explaining it, you don't like make you know it about it about you. I don't know how else to describe it. Like I'm watching. You're gonna cringe, Zach, after the uh, after your conversation with Belly and Chen specifically. But I I watched an eight and a half hour video about the full story of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm so glad he you makes a year old. I wouldn't. I wouldn't he he makes. He makes. Um, Really, uh, a full eight hour jokes. video about you is that what you said? What I don't know, maybe I misunderstood Sean. No, I said, oh, he no. said eight and a half no. hour, and I said, I'm so glad you didn't say year old. <laughs> uh, um, I was, Jesus. and and yeah, so he makes really shitty jokes every so often. That's like the gray area, like he, he'll tell the he pretty much just um, reads off the manga and shows off the manga and then just makes like, oh, maybe that means this. There's he's like New Zealand, Haley, oh, watches, a, tr- Haley watches a true crime YouTuber. Uh, Iwu. No, it's a woman. Um, anyway, she the the draw to her show is that she'll do some interviews or she'll like present stuff, um, but she's not qu- she's not even quite a, you know like Philip DeFranco is news and then occasionally he's like I hope that guy fucking burns or something. She yeah. she doesn't do that. She's just like here's the story. Like it really oh. you know. You're talking about oh my Kendall god, what's Ray. her name? I'm thinking of Kendall. Nope, Ray. that's not who I thought. Of. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Stephanie Sue or whatever the fuck her name is. But I should, hey, when you said true it. crime woman, I immediately thought of that one, uh, the Illuminati bot girl or whatever that like oh. pissed everyone off. I don't oh. even remember fully what happened head? there. Yeah, she yeah, really she, made um, a lot of people upset. Yeah, right? she uh, she she claimed that Legal Eagle stole her her ed- her thumbnail or editing. And Legal Eagle was like, uh, no, my editor went into your Discord and asked how you did a certain transition. And he was told that they weren't going to tell him. So he looked it up somewhere else and did that transition. And then they found out that they didn't even invent that transition. That transition was found in like a couple YouTube videos like 10 years ago. So it, it was uh, two it was, things. Number one, it seems like people were way more upset than what that would lead on for about her. And two, what a bold YouTube channel to pick as the person you're going to target for attacks. Yeah, no, the okay. Legal so, YouTube so channel. What, what happened? The reason why people got mad was because she explicitly said something to the because she's like on a leftist YouTube thing. She explicitly said like, "Oh, this is like a big 
you know, channel trying to steal like content or something. And it's like, no one is stealing your content. You know, I don't know how I was to say it. And the guy asked for like, oh, I, I can do this transition, but do you have like a macro? I don't know how designers talk, but he mm -hmm. basically was like, is there a plugin for this? And they were like, no. And they wouldn't tell him anything. And then he found a plugin and did it or something. And they got, they said it's content theft. And it's like, that's not how that works, but go ahead, <laughs> go off. Dude, if that's Ooh. constant theft, I've stolen so much fucking content. Holy shit. You can't trademark a transition. I hate that shit. I, I yeah. really hate the the copyright laws when it comes to creative shit. Like uh just um not even just like I think Spider-Verse tried to copyright their animation style. And it's like, I don't well, how can you mm. copy how can you copyright a whole style? That's not your Well the thing was that I think this was style, but. I think this was just because they do video essays on stuff. I think this was something literally like um, a way they did like the shadows on a graphic or something. I, I really think it was some, something so, I don't want to say basic, but something so simple. And yeah, and Legal Legal is like, no, we did nothing wrong. I don't know. <laughs> the word lawyers, you know what I mean? Like this, <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's Man, we like should it. start beef with lawyers. Isaiah, you've yet to encounter really any YouTube drama. Right? No, no. There's people that dislike people you out there, but no, Discord. like, drama. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're um, not, like, they're, they're just people. Like, it's just, it's not, even a, it's not like, like, there's a difference between, like, YouTubers disliking please you turn and your people camera disliking up. you. Because, like, people don't like everybody, but just, like, but, like, a YouTuber, not to be mean, but they matter more because they have an audience they can, like, sick on. Yeah. Those guys didn't have anything. So they're just people. Yeah. Yeah. How do you how would you characterize like Seth the programmer? I don't know who that is. Ooh, well, I, I know, know who that, that is. is. Wait, I know who th uh, that is from. Like a, I know the name. I don't know the person. Is that the guy who like made some uh, made a kid drink to be a mod or something? They did some. <laughs> is that the one who did something fucked okay. up? Okay, oh, uh, 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 oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. Oh. Just to be clear, ignoring the controversies behind the verse, I just meant <laughs> I know, the content. Now I know who yeah. you're talking about. I know, I know exactly. Yeah, who the you're guy talking who about. does like power scaling oh, for like Dragon Ball. Heard of this? He does yeah. like power scaling. For, he's a piece of shit, you know. But yes. he, Seth, the programmer, will do power scaling for like Naruto or Dragon Ball, and he'll talk about feats. Oh, I and think that's so lame. It's just such a waste of. It's just. Because oh. people take that shit seriously. It well, is that's just the so thing. Is he wins debates and then makes like minors drink or like send pictures of themselves. It's, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, uh, that's gross and lame. Gross and I don't know. I, I, I think I might have seen one or two of his videos. The reason, ever. the reason I say that is he's very mad. When I watched him like, I don't know, six, seven years ago, maybe now it's been a long time. He would be very matter of fact. But then he would always be like, and you fucking dumbasses who read this manga. Well, this manga is not actually canon. So I don't know how much of that was personality versus like just quote unquote matter of fact about the anime. You know, Man, let's address like a big elephant in the room. What's the worst thing you would do to one of our fans? Kill him. OK, fair enough. What were you saying? <laughs> no, I was just I was just continuing the personality. Thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I um because I. I'm like a, I have a, a weird bias in a positive way towards personality driven content because I, when I like a person, I like to see all the content they can make. Like I watch all of my friends. Like I, I, I've been bugging Sean to release the podcast because I just like watching my friends do shit. I look like I have no eyebrows in this, don't I? A little bit. No, no ears is, and no eyebrows. You're yeah, losing body parts not the by worst, the week. That's not the worst part of you that looks on camera. Okay, dude. <laughs> 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 um, but like that's why like I would like because uh, Isaiah you make uh, you know machinima stuff and, and uh, the super creative super cool stuff I'm I just like to learn more about you I would like to learn more about you as an individual through your content if that makes any yeah. sense yeah I don't know if that no I gotta say just to, just, my... just to add on to that I think I get what you're saying so for instance like um, I really like seeing my friends make content because that like energizes me a lot in the sense of like, I just feel better. I don't know, just watching like the fact that we're doing mm -hmm. something productive. I watched both of your streams in full when you couldn't play Armored Core. <laughs> For like 10 seconds. Yep, five minutes um, and seven minutes. Um, <laughs> um, but like, one of the things that I didn't think that I would notice is that fucking Evan said something that made me like blush a little bit. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute that you would say that. He, he said something, this was like a month ago. He said something was like- he drinking? 
I don't know if he was drinking. It's very possible he was drinking, but he said something to the effect of like, if Sean made edited videos like Ben does, or if, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, then it would go sick. And I was like, you think I'm a good contact for you? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, yeah, th- th- that was, <laughs> that was, it was a compliment. Like I edit well and, and, and Sean is a, is a good personality. So he's saying if those things mesh together, I've had, a a few, I've had a few friends from like college who I didn't know watched my stuff. Uh, one of my friends suggested that I re- read like horror stories. Like I had a side channel where I read horror stories because they seemed to think that my voice would, or I'd have a personality for reading horror stories. Yeah. But, you're pretty creepy. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, <laughs> the thing is like my voice is like both high pitched and monotone. So I <laughs> nasally too, as well, you know, and ugly. Yeah, and ugly. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So, uh, so I, I want. Speaking of video essays, I watched. This was just like a how to grow a YouTube channel type. It wasn't a how to grow a YouTube channel type video. It was like the story of how this guy's YouTube channel kind of like blew up. Okay, okay. Um, I, I actually remember now the specific like title of it, but I'm not going to say it because I'm about to kind of like say something pretty mean about this guy. Um, it was ben a Pack. really. <laughs> yeah, it was Ben packed shit post or whatever. Um, but so this video was a really well edited video essay with a really cool story and a really great hook. It was a good video, but the dude just had an unlistenable voice. You know what I mean? Like the dude yeah. had a voice that just you sounded know, in the exact dumb. in like, the exact opposite way. Do you remember that guy Corpse that blew up? Yeah. No, there was a YouTuber Corpse. He had yeah, like some corpse. he had like some disease that fucked his throat. And yeah. um uh, I'm not gonna make a joke. <laughs> he had some disease that fucked his throat. Yeah, it, it, for me it's hard to listen to. Like no, I, no, maybe no. I'm just... he blew up and people were like immediately like he blew up because a bunch of people uh, pr- presumably found it like attractive in some way. They were making like memes and like yaoi about him and stuff like that and he like he literally stopped streaming because he was like I, this is too much for me you know whatever yeah but yeah. um in the exact opposite thing i think he did so little content i think he played among us with pokimane <laughs> i think that's what, yeah. i think that's what it was and then that's he, the majority of it he yeah. blew up because of his voice which is you know all fine i don't care and i think he did a couple he did a song with somebody because he had a he has a really Joke low me like you hate me because you love me yeah he has like a really low like and me. gravelly voice because he has like severe acid reflux or something like that but then hey, we know a guy like that bro. Yeah. yeah well yeah but Ben is Ben is what say it uh, no say it <laughs> <laughs> did you see that or was that just my screen <laughs> no it was I I had to turn down my eyes so <laughs> it's like made your um, lips fucking yeah no yeah I can't listen to corpse I, I can't listen to him speak. I also I have I, the, actually it's funny enough the 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 guy that I'm watching the, the Jujutsu Kaisen um, eight hour video he he's from like I don't know if this is how all New Zealand people sound but it is oh, just like awful. yeah they sound awful I can't just listen I can't listen to this fucker I mean call me xenophobic bro I'm sorry I cannot listen to those fuckers um, those little fucking idiots for all of them. Um, <laughs> um, I hope one day, ten years from now, our biggest fan is from New Zealand. Then he goes back and listens to this. What, what does a New Zealand voice them? sound like? It just, I just like scuffed Australian. Yeah, we were watching. The, I was going to do a bad impression of a fan being upset at or, you. Or, 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 we were watching uh, uh, the One Piece live action, and the guy who plays Luffy. I was like, this guy sounds so fucking stupid. Why is he talking like this? This is ridiculous. Yeah. And the, while the show is going on, I'm like, this is like, I mean, he's got a lisp. He sounds fucking, di- is this like the point? And Brian was like, the actor is Brazilian, Sean. Like, this is the point. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I'm he's just actually not- Mexican. He's actually the Mexican. actor Did is he- Mexican? Yes, he's Mexican, apparently, according to Alexis, who k- k- doesn't get nonstop One Piece stuff. Okay, One Piece let me see. On Luffy it. actor. Um, Zach, yeah, ironically. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need a fat check on that. Go, go for it. Check he, it. Inaki Godoy is Mexican. Oh shit! Okay. I, thought, say, I, thought, I don't. I know you're gonna ask me a question, Ben, but like I, I've seen clips of this new One Piece live action thing. I don't really watch anime, so frankly, you know, it could suck. It could be awesome. I have no clue. You should but watch. Like, it. I don't. I see clips of it, and I was like, if I was a fan of whatever this was, I'd be offended. Like, it just looks bad visually. So what? What's funny oh, is it's actually it's actually really good for for what it's oh, worth. Like it's about probably to say, the you know best. I'm like a huge One Piece fan too, right? Oh, I'm not oh, even saying not that the that. original One Piece is like bad or anything. I'm just saying like I don't know. For me, seeing a live action of anything 2D animated kind of feels a little gross. But then like I on agree. top of it, it just looked a little. 
you know, there's a certain look to like a show where it kind of feels like a daytime TV, like a CW type of show, right? Yeah. Where I kind of go like, eh, I wish it was a little bit better than that. But um, I, I, I know literally nothing aside from like 10 Dude. minute or 10 second clips okay. I've seen online. Wait, actually, so. hold on. Let's pause. I want to I want to hear opinions. Let's pog. I know that Sean likes it. Isaiah, you, did you watch it? I only watched the first episode and I didn't like it, but I've been did told like that it. the that it gets better after that. That's so really all One Piece fans. <laughs> Well, yeah, it gets it, 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 classic One Piece fashion. It's a slow burn at the beginning. Um, yeah, no, I, I, was just, I, I did was not like it the first episode either, though. I really I wasn't didn't. In that right headspace either. I'm definitely going to give it another chance. I just haven't had the chance. Had the chance. I, yet. Are you, I loved it. Are you up to date in One Piece? Proper? Oh yeah, no, I'm. I I'm a huge One Piece fan. Like I I know I I love One Piece. Yeah, no, Zach's got to go. He, he hasn't. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> no, have the anime. No, no, no. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, I, wait, I was just, tell I just you. No, obviously, feel free to talk about it as long as you want. I, just, I was going to tell you that um, I also don't like live actions, but the creator actually very much wanted this. He took a four week break from the manga to go to set. He hmm. said he made um, he refused. He he was not going to do take anything unless he was ha- unless they were happy. Like everyone was happy, and um, and he thought it was his last big chance to get a One Piece big in America because the anime is not that good. So I don't know. It's just like when I, if the creator wants it, I don't usually mind as much. Well, sure. the, the problem the problem with the anime is that it's it's so close to the manga that it they just got to pace it out way too much, right? It's, At this point, the biggest problem is well, first of all, it looks pretty amazing now. I'm gonna give it credit. Yeah. Like if you look after Wano, yeah, Wano. Wano, Wano. <laughs> it's Wano. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's, not, <laughs> it's not two ways. Yeah, like it looks really good right now, but the problem is mostly that yeah, because it, it's real, it's caught, it's pretty close, but it's just not seasonal. So they work, it's weekly. So yeah. like it's just it's never going to be able to be very good if it's weekly, because they were yeah. they they were at a point where they were doing um less than a chapter uh, episode. So it wasn't even that there yeah. was yeah they couldn't even do they didn't even do a full chapter. Bro, that's why One Piece exists, dude. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm on context. <laughs> usually, an anime episode does like. Two to three, maybe four. Of came in the mail, dude. Oh shit! Wait, it's like fifty bucks, isn't it? Yeah. How's it feel being surrounded by leaves? It's like yeah, it feels exactly. pretty cool. My 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 girlfriend loves anime too, so it's just pretty much out of like, escape. Well, well, have you tried? Why don't mm-hmm. you like find a she gateway? Wouldn't. Try Attack on Titan. Okay, bro, I, I will say a yeah, Full Metal Alchemist it. Brotherhood yeah, yeah. is the is the perfect gateway. I would I well, I would <laughs> I also love Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I do think it has a really slow. It doesn't have a slow start. Yeah, you want to censor it, this? You want to censor this? It's a slow middle too. Tell me that this is not the the first, the best first start to any. You can, you know, we don't gotta censor it. Yeah, it's it's just it's, he's just railing a, de- a demon in the first very first page. Yeah, tell me that's oh, not nice. a goaded manga. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it right now. I'll buy it right now. <laughs> it's in my cart. Ben, your card's being used. Tell me that's I actually. Um, wait, actually, speaking of that, tell me that's not on. a goaded manga, dude. Oh, I don't have it. I, I wait, have. You, I have you, preserved you one say? paperback. What were you gonna say about anime? Oh, I was going to say, and Ben, I know we've had this exact conversation before, but like I watched a few episodes of Cowboy Bebop and I actually really liked it. Oh, Cowboy um, Bebop is fucking sick. But then, yeah. but then they were making their own live action thing now, too. And now I'm like, no, oh, the well, live action is dog shit. It came out and it was already canceled. Yeah, it was yeah. dog shit. Yeah. But, um, it got but, canceled in like the first month. But, but it's the only time I've ever like watched an anime and I was like, wow, that was really good. I was it's watching very Cowboy good. Bebop. Uh, uh, see, uh, Cowboy Bebop is very good. Listen, just drop a hundred, like maybe a hundred hours on One Piece, and you'll really start to like it. <laughs> but ironically, it takes like three hundred episodes to get into it, to like to, to full to get full mast over One Piece. Um, yeah, uh, so I really, I, I, I actually, it's funny because we had a cringe counter when. So it was me, Sean, and two of our friends, Joe, not Joey, Joe, different person, and Brian. We were all watching it together. And uh, we had a cringe counter because we thought it was going to be really bad. And the first episode, kind of I bad. cringed 12 times. And then the second episode, I only cringed three. And then after that, I only cringed like one per episode. It's just like, and it's like, it's just mostly like fake accents and stuff that make me cringe. It's not like a. That no sounds like a new whatever. reboot of like Cinema oh, Sins. So, like Sean's got a new cat since oh, the last episode, one? I believe. Yeah. So what's its name? This is Freddy. Frederick Juilliard. Oh, we talked about this because I have a dog named Fred too. Yeah. Good in. Look at this Aww. guy. It's an ugly cat. This is this is this one is That's my one favorite. Come back, here, come back here. Come back here. That is a chill cat. Um, this is my favorite one, Theodore. Big, yeah, big Sean guy. does dirty things with that that cat. Yeah. You should see his videos of his GoPro. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, I, Isaiah, 
Yes. I, this is this is this is, doesn't have to be podcast content. I'm just I'm just informing you. So I, I Brian is a big one, an enormous One Piece fan. My 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 best friend for life. Like, oh yeah, I've not right here or anything. That's crazy. I've, yeah, <laughs> I've known him for like twenty something years. Um, uh, he's a big One Piece fan, and I was a big Naruto fan. Like that, we had like we were like butting heads. Uh-huh. Um, and so he was like, "Oh, you should start watching One Piece." And I'm like, "What? I, I, you know, I watched up to Alabasta when I was a kid. You know, when I was on Toonami or whatever, four kids TV or whatever it was." And then I watched. I, I, I started watching, and I and I was just like, every night I just pulled up One Piece. And that, that by the at this point, I'm on. I'm like halfway through Fishman Island, and I I watch every night, every single nice. night. Nice. You yeah, you'll so. get ah man. I'm excited for you to get to Wano then. Me too, dude. I I because I've seen I've seen the first episode of it. A uh, long time ago, before I started watching, like li- seriously, so I don't remember like anything that happened, but I remember th- thinking visually it looked very cool, and I, I obviously saw the uh, Kaido Luffy Gear Five, so whatever one pace, fucking one fight. Sp- one pace uh, skips filler. It's, it's, it, it's a it's a pace, uh, mostly a pacing fix, but yes, it does skip filler, but it's on Telegram only, so enjoy Telegram. One Pace is is the show though, right? It's not the manga. It's the show. No, the manga is perfectly paced. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I have never read it, I, uh, so I don't I know. I read the first Wano twelve chapters. It's pretty good. The fuck in the fucking manga, but now modern day One Piece. Now One Piece is perfectly paced. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like specifically Wano. I've I've always called it Wano, and I've never gotten corrected. So it's I'm, it's weird to say out of my mouth. But I, I I've I've always thought that Wano was going to be Wano Wano was going to be cut the fuck down. For one pace, because I, I've I've heard it's quite long and uh, paced poorly. So, oh, um, ben, yeah, Zach. So, what's your ben, favorite you, anime? You've Ben, you've uh, ghosted me two times on my pitch to get you to Japan next year. Have I? Yeah, you didn't. Re- you didn't reply to either either either. Pitch. I think when I do that, I'll read it and I'll be like, I'll respond to that in a minute, and I never yeah. do. I'm, t- you know, I'm down for Japan. Yeah, I've, I want to go to you Dragon Quest World to and your- Naruto World and Pokemon <laughs> I, uh, Land. I what, oh my god! Okay, so wait, I gotta, I gotta take a step back, Sean. I'm, I'm sorry for, yeah. for uh, cutting into what you're saying here. So, um, y- you want to take your girlfriend to Japan, right? You've mentioned that before. Mm-hmm. I, I also want to do the same thing for mine. She's been itching to go to the Studio Ghibli place forever, um, and I pitched to you like, let's go there, do an IRL episode in Japan. We can split off come back as like a little double date thing. Like we have to split off, come back and do like two episodes while we're there. Well, I'm and, sure there's going to be go overlapping shit that we could do together though. Sure, 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 sure. But that was what I was about to just like uh, uh, pitch to you again. But it's so on point that you just said all of that. Cause I was in the car with her yesterday and um, she was like, Oh, and I really want to go to Disney world, uh, uh, the Disney world fucking Japan over there too. And then I want to go to the Mario world thing over there too. And I literally was like, I'm not going to go over there and go to like five fucking theme parks. Like, I, this was the argument that we had. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even really an argument, but I was like, why would I spend all that money to go over there just to go to a bunch of these like theme parks? And she just had this face of like, that was totally my plan. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was the plan the whole time. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, I wanted to go to like Tokyo and Kyoto and, and like Hiroshima yeah, and the historical yeah. shit and everything. Yeah. Wouldn't it, Sean, you made that face. Wouldn't it be really cool though to go to Hiroshima and be like, this is where they did it. This is where they did it. Cancer? You think, wait, this can't be that radiated at this point, can it? People live there. Not well. Um, anyway, so <laughs> wait, wait, <what? laughs> God damn. I had a, I, I had a, I had a, I had a coworker who was like, yeah, I really want to go to Japan. And I'm like, that's the most weeb thing I've ever heard in my life. And he goes, no, I want to go to any like listed a bunch of provinces. And he goes, because that's where the best sushi is. And I was like, again, I, mean, See, I don't like, even like sushi. Like, I, I, would, I was like, well, I would starve there. So I was just like fucking with it. At that point, I, I, I just started fucking with him. So I was like, yeah, that's like the most Western thing to do. Yeah, I better go to Japan and have all the sushi restaurants. And he goes, no, it's like, and he started getting like actually mad. So he was like, no, it's like the actual, like, I want to try the fugu fish. I want to do this. And I'm like, yeah, very Western. Like, yeah, Ooh, let me, you- it's going to be all white people there. You're going to love it. And he was like getting really pissed off. Fuji, fu- whatever the poison fish is. I was going to ask you, would you try that? Oh, the puffer fish thing? No, I wouldn't try would that. Would you do that? No, I wouldn't try that. No. Well, You'd maybe. probably be the worst person to try it, to be honest uh, with that you. That would give me so much anxiety. <laughs> yeah. But, so, <laughs> You'd be so, the 1% guy uh, yeah. that actually you're probably, died. You're probably right. So I, was just, I was just like fucking with him. And then 
I was like, yeah, basically like every Western, every Westerner, you know, white American wants to go to Japan. And he goes, that's not fucking true, bro. And, and someone walked into the lab and I was like, uh, hey, um, hey, Steph, uh, you know, if you could go anywhere, have you ever been outside the country? And like this guy, um, this guy looked at me like with his face and I was like, hey, Steph, you ever been out of the country? And she goes, no, no, no. And I was like, you ever like, where, where would you go? And he goes, I've always wanted to go to Japan. And I was like, for the sushi, right? And she goes, yeah, I heard the sushi's really good over there. And I was like, <laughs> I fucking told you, Shane. I, I have no interest in the sushi. I just want to make my friends and my girl happy. And I want to, I want to be, Japan's a place where like, I don't understand Japanese at all. And I want to go to a place where I don't speak the language, but still feel like somewhat oh. safe. You know what I mean? Oh, like listen, it feels a- like just foreign enough, but like probably still comfortable. Like I can still get around just fine. All jokes you know? aside, I think Japan would be fun to. <sighs> Dude. Dude, Three IRL episodes the big, next year, Ben. I fly the out to Ford Cleveland, Japan. I fly. Actually, out to, wait, we got to talk about that. We Zach. do have to talk about that. But I, but I'm saying, like January, I fly out to uh, an undisclosed location where Ben is that we were talking about, Washington, and then later DC. that year we do two Japan episodes. That'd be crazy. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. And then I Sean don't have my uh, pays for all of us to yeah, get your passport, dude. <sighs> Hey, um, listen, if I get the job that I'm interviewing for in a couple of days, I will gladly pay for your. Yeah, it's just a, it's a multi level as, as I feel. No, you look very dry, actually. I was going to I was gonna say something. Do you think the driest Do you've look ever dry? looked? Like your hair doesn't look greasy at all. Usually, I'm like, sweating with, with, with you look, so much. You look, dude, off, but you know, it's off. <laughs> what do you mean by I think off? It's just the angle and the lighting. You look, uh, um, if I had to put it in my a hair word, is pretty greasy right now. Unfortunately, already, yeah. I got a shower. Hey, put it in a word, Zach. I want to hear it. What's the word? The bird is the word. Don't say the bird. Caddy wampus. I look caddy wampus. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck does caddy wampus? What, what? Put that into a word. What does that mean? So it's, it's a it's a compound word. Look it up. Google it later. We don't have time. The compound. It's, Tron, what is what is caddy wampus? Apparently, it's a fucking compound, chemist boy. Yeah, I'm not going to engage with that. <laughs> Um, so I want to, I want to update everybody. It's been a really big week, which we have to touch on really any of it. So I, I, I know that I made, it's probably very dark. I know that I made a joke about like my room not being empty, but it's like, there's a lot less shit in it. Like my bed's gone from behind me. It's mostly just like Where laundry sleeping? in my living room. <laughs> um, yeah, his parents are selling because, his house because I'm moving out. October 13th. Play the, play like I'm going to be in, into that Billy Joel song. I'm moving out. Do, do, do. We got it. On October 14th, I'm going to be a resident of Cleveland Heights, <laughs> Ohio. It's actually not that bad now that I um, uh Tristan and I from the show were on Google Maps, like looking around when you told us that. It actually seems like a nice area that's pretty affordable to live and everything. And he's got a but fucking house. First- I'm, I'm genuinely jealous, jealous that like your rent is a little more than what we pay, but you have a house. You have like a three bedroom house that you're renting. Three bedroom, two bedroom. It's bath, not a condo. Two you, garage. You didn't get a condo. <laughs> nope, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a house in uh, like an older neighborhood I that I didn't even realize Haley was an older neighborhood. Some shit, you know what I mean? To move mm-hmm. to Cleveland, bro. A house? We're paying like eleven hundred a month for six hundred. The, the, the cost of living is bro, really low. Phoenix, Phoenix is higher than that. Phoenix, you can't find like a studio to one bedroom apartment for under like twelve to thirteen hundred. Um. <laughs> But yeah, when you first messaged me that you were moving to Cleveland, I just I immediately screenshotted it and I, I sent it to Ethan and I was like, "This guy won't last two weeks in Cleveland." No, no I yeah, know. It's, yeah, it's not Cle- it's not Cleveland, Cleveland. It's, I mean, we're a bit away from Cleveland, but it's Cleveland. But I was looking up Cleveland on Google Maps. It doesn't look that bad. Cleveland, well, Cleveland, Cleveland itself is bad, but Cleveland Heights is is a it's a it's What's like bad a, about Cleveland a crime. It's pretty it's pretty crime ridden. Uh-huh. It's like uh oh you when I was gonna say it's like it's like uh. Like a Hartford, Connecticut kind of deal. Hartford, Connecticut doesn't mean. sound terribly crime ridden to me. Either. Well, <laughs> well, it is. Um, I mean, it's not. It's not like it's not. We're not. We're not dealing with like a fucking Detroit or a Chicago. It definitely but, depends on the area. Yeah, I want to go downtown. I want to see that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cleveland is a. Uh, we were taken through all of Cleveland and Cleveland Heights. Uh, by one of the agents that we didn't buy a, get a, or buy a rental from. Um, uh, but he showed us all around the town, dude. Uh, there's this place called University Circle. 
which is where everything is. All the museums, a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of it's like a big metro area. Haunted house. Uh, Yep, and yep. The guy actually that he mentioned that he said, "Would you guys like to eat at the haunted house?" And I said, "No." And I was just like, "Yeah, absolutely." I'm just not into like the. I don't even play scary games. Like I'm not into it. I won't play phasmophobia. I won't. I definitely will not. I get. I get terrified. Um. I think what I think Slender the eight Slenderman the eight pages or whatever triggered the fuck out of me, and I think that I'll never I like traumatized me. And I don't think I'll ever play a game like that again. Um, but dude, Cleveland Heights is so nice. It's fifteen minutes away from like Lakewood, another another ten away from Cleveland downtown Cleveland. You look like University you're from Cleveland. Circle. Now that I think about it, you made look in like Ohio. He he he! I can't wait for those memes to crop up. <laughs> but yeah, um, the fourteenth I'll be a resident Who's of Ohio. Spam clicking. Oh, sorry. Sean's playing. Sean's playing <laughs> Crush Crush. No, I'm not playing Crush Crush. <laughs> oh, okay. Isaiah, how do you like Starfield? <laughs> oh, have you been playing? No, I have no clue if he's been playing it or not. But you've been no, playing. No, it's not my kind of I game. I don't it. like. I get. I, I'm. I just don't play those because that's like Bethesda. That's like Skyrim, Fallout. Yeah, bro. People yeah, are I, hating I, on Starfield. I, I'm not gonna go too far into it because I'm probably the only one here playing it. The fast travel system's bullshit, but I had a really good time. I went off on my own little adventure, and I actually am getting invested in a video game for the first time in a long time. Why so is it bullshit? fucking sue what, what, me? What's bullshit about it. It's uh, the fact the, that you have the, to. The, right? the, no, the fast travel system's absolutely bullshit. So like. Uh, pretend like, okay, so I'm on a planet and I get a quest in another system, right? So what I have to do is I have to fast travel to my ship. I can't just go into my ship. Well, yeah, actually, I think in some places you can go into your ship for that part, but usually they don't want you to fast travel to your ship. Then you got to take off into the solar system. Once you're in the solar system, you have to, fa- or once you're in orbit around a planet, you have to fast travel back out into the, like, galaxy then you have to fast travel to another galaxy then you have to fast travel to the planet and then fast travel to a landing zone and then fucking then you're there like you just have to fast travel like five times to go anywhere like you've played no man's sky correct like if you do know what no man's sky is and how it plays i i mean i i bought it day one and then i had to refund it because it was dog shit day one (laughs) yeah i mean it got better i I mean i thought isaiah did you ever play no man's sky uh, yeah, I played it a little bit, but I didn't. I, it wasn't my thing either. Sure, and I'm not saying that it is, but you know, like in No Man's Sky, like you're able to take off in your spaceship and fly around, and if you see yeah. another planet, you can go to that planet, and then if you need to go to another galaxy, you can jump to that galaxy. Yeah, Starfield is like to take off. You're fast traveling to go from one planet to another planet. You're fast traveling. Like there's just like so many. There's like five different menus you have to go through. To get anywhere in the game, you, it's, it's very frustrating. Did you so see Alana playing? Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, uh, did you see Alana Pierce? I don't know if, you, yeah, you're familiar with Alana Pierce. I'm familiar you, with Alana. I've not heard anything from her in a while. She so. she flew from, I don't know if it was Earth or whatever, to Pluto, and it took seven hours. And she got there because <laughs> they like, they hard tell you to like fast travel, but she I, just I, did I it the wrong way. I don't think you could. He, so he, you can get there, but you can't just, land. Like, you still have to fast travel yeah. to land. Yep. Exactly that. Yep. So you, you, that's you, weird. So, that's weird. Yep. So there's fast travel everywhere. You just have to fast travel to every, like what's the? I don't know. I, I, I mean, that, that's my thought too. Is why even have a fucking ship? Mm-hmm. That's like a big part of the game too. Is it's, the ship? I just building. don't even understand. It just it just seems like what you wouldn't do that unless uh, unless like I don't want to say laziness because I don't really know. But unless they couldn't get it to work, like why would they? Why wouldn't you just have people get in their own ship and do like you want? People want to fly the ship. So can you fly the ship? You can like, fly the ship, and like oh, there's yeah, a lot. A lot of it ship. is ship customization and building your crew and getting in the space fights. So, like, that is a pretty significant part of the game. It's just for me, I'm not that into the space fight. So it's like, why? What is the purpose of me even decking out my ship at that point? You know what I mean? If I'm yeah. really only using it as a glorified uh, menu to fast travel, right? <laughs> yeah, um, that's that's the issue I hear. But I will say this again: that is like somewhat of a minor inconvenience to me because we're as before I'm really big into fallout, right? Whereas before there'd be this big fallout map I can walk. Now it's like these little smaller fallout maps. I can just teleport to essentially. And the combat's much better. So, um, and I just like getting, I like that. It's still Bethesda E enough for me to have my own way because the fun I'm having in the game is not going through the main storyline, right? Like everyone I know that's doing that seems to be having a pretty boring time 
whether it's my coworkers or Ethan or whoever, they're all just going through the main storyline. For me, it's like, I'm just fucking shit up. The one of the main um, factions in the game is called the Constellation. You meet them pretty early on, and once you get to their lair, all these doors up there are locked. You're not supposed to be able to go into their headquarters until you join their faction, right? Um, before I walk into the room, before I can even activate the quest, I just spam jump on a corner and get up and over Hell into yeah. their lodge Hell where yeah. they're not even supposed to be. I loot all of their shit and sell it for like twenty thousand credits, like early in the game. Then I go and join their faction and they have no idea. Like that type of shit is just really fun for me. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Um, I did that shit in Oblivion all the time. Yeah. I liked um there was this quest line I activated. It was like the side quest line, um, where like I had to jump between like six different systems and I like fought all these people throughout the uh, throughout the way and I found like a um intergalactic casino that had been run over by space raiders that was completely zero gravity. Uh, fight so you're like jet like literally flying around this whole like dungeon crawler fight the whole time and solving puzzles to get like this lottery out of there and it's just on my way to this one quest like i don't know i'm just having a lot of fun like going off and doing my own thing in starfield i wish i wish i had like i did i i the last did the last bethesda game i played was oblivion i i just can't get into them i don't know what it is it's, it's a me problem for 100 percent. i like the I, boring ass games i guess i like civ i like that is boring. Starfield. <laughs> like, I, don't know, I, I don't know about Starfield, but it, it is yeah. boring. Yeah. I like, um, uh, I, mean, I play, I play Pokemon. So I, have no, I have no, like, I have no feet to stand on. I play, I mean, my favorite game is Pokemon. You know, just, um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've heard, uh, differing opinions on Starfield. Some people really like it. Some people really hate it. And I think that's how a lot of games go. Um, I I kind of figured it was going to be some Bethesda bullshit though with like the fast oh, yeah. traveling and you can go here but you can't actually go there you just fast you teleport there. I thought there. I would hate it to be honest with you because their track yeah. record recently has been pretty hey, dog but shit. Game Pass, brother. Yeah, I got it for free and I'm actually getting into it. So a, a game I thought I would dislike, I'm actually liking. So Game Pass is so OP. It's actually stupid. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. I'm sorry to derail the conversation into something I only know about. At least with anime, wait. there's three people here that that actively watch wait. it. There's no one else wait. playing Starfield in this I, call. I, I have a great way. Okay, Isaiah, question. Yes. So you make, um, you make primarily or almost like ninety nine percent Halo machinimas, right? Yeah. But you, how often do you actually play? I, I mean, I saw you. I see you stream sometimes Halo, but how often do you actually play Halo? Never. Like I only play, I'm only playing it for ideas and because I don't, I haven't picked another game to stream. I'm after infinite, I like the, after the terrible launch of infinite, I'm just kind of over halo at this point. Yeah. I, I, I feel you on that. I do Husky raid is so fucking fun though. I'll tell you what it is. I did enjoy Husky yeah. raid. Husky raid yeah. with equipment is pretty fucking great. Yeah. It's really good. Like the game's good now. It's great. It has oh, a lot of content. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's good. I'm just like, eh, I just don't really want to play it. I think arcade shooters are no longer like a big, um, like there's no so, draw to them. Like, I mean, you know how like there were zombie games and everybody was playing zombie games for a while. And mm-hmm. like more recently there's the battle Royale thing and everybody's playing battle Royales. Um, I think there's like a social aspect and I think that arcade shooters are just no longer part of that social aspect. But my, my, my question was more, um, well, no, I mean, you answered my question, but I, my, my question was leading to what do you play? Like in your free time? Um, honestly, I, I, I don't have anything I play right now. I just, I just last night got my PS4 out because there were some single player games I haven't played. But I looked through Game Pass. I played Overwatch, but I'm fucking bad at it, so I'm tired yeah, of getting my ass kicked. So I think I'm gonna stop playing Overwatch. Are you Are you bad at games? Club. Yeah, I'm bad now. Yeah, I'm, me too. Now that I'm old, I used to be good. I feel like I'm the same. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I I, I peaked when like I peaked in high school, like no pun intended. Like like, I'll play MCC and I'm like, I am, I used to be good at Halo 3. I know that for a fact. So why am I so dog shit? Well, yeah. Seems like we all are talking today about getting worse at games as you get older. What do you get better at? I'm just getting older. older. Just dying. Money. More problems. I get better at having more problems. My dude, my, my (laughs) wrist is fine. I do this a few more times. Yeah. So my wrist, the pain went, this is going to sound like I was, I was like having like, like a fucking, uh, what is it called? When your brain hurts a lot, not a headache, shut up. Migraine. 
No, not a migraine. When you meningitis, it, it's going to sound like meningitis. <laughs> but it went from my wrist to my shoulder to my neck. Weirdly. Ben said my neck, I, my back, dude. My, 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 my <laughs> pussy and my crack. No, um, but uh, yeah, having issues it sucks. I actually, you know what's funny? I have had a lot of free time this week. I don't think, have I played any games at all? I don't think so. Oh, no, Thursday. Oh yeah, me and you, me and Sean played. Um, oh yeah, games, okay. So no, yeah. Dude. Tuesday I, uh, we played Grounded, and Thursday we played um, um, the Halo, uh, Cursed Halo. But out, outside of that, like, uh, like just outside of scheduled shit, I don't play. I don't. I haven't played anything. I haven't played Zelda. Anything, dude. I, so this week, I was hoping to have it be really productive for this show because I did have a good bit of free time, um, and like my my birthday is this weekend, so I'm gonna Happy go off birthday, and do stuff yeah. this weekend for my birthday. Happy birthday, Zach! And, and then the next weekend, I'm taking a trip to Denver. Um, so like, I just know like a lot of my weekend time is about to get filled up, uh, and I was really hoping this week to just get some stuff done for the show. Um, you know wild turn of events throughout the week had to unfortunately uh put the put the family dog down on wednesday put up a picture i'll send you one r.i.p pour one out if you're drinking something i'll deal with that the rest of the show bad idea Um, that hurt to hear (laughs) um i'll clean that up in just a second but um you know in my mind i was like okay i'm gonna be really productive that day that i that was already gonna have off and I just like ended up playing Starfield for nine hours. We all <laughs> well, warning your dog. Yeah, we all yeah. mourn in our like, own ways, you know. Well, I, I'm just saying, like in in my mind, I was like, I re- really hope this is going to be a productive week for me. And then I just kind of went, eh. So the side content for this show is going to be off kilter for a little bit here. No, dude, that's true. But uh, I know that's more than okay with everyone here. I'm just yeah. bouncing off you of what, what you it were is saying. Not with the, okay, Zach. Yeah, get back on it, you get fucking retard. Horse. You ride that pony into the night. Uh, I'm also that he's sad that he's cleaning gone. the drinks off of my desk. But I'm not even saying that as like a, as like a super sob story either. I'm just saying like I feel like we all kind of had bizarre weeks where we yeah. thought we would get a lot done. Dude, and life just let me tell happened. You, I, I, I had I had that. I mean, not as sad as an excuse as you to not to not be productive. But I, um, what was it on Monday? Oh, I realized that I wasn't going. I, so the original plan was to move in um, the first October first. So we were kind of like scrambling because uh, starting October sixteenth, I'm going to be in New Jersey for two weeks, and that ends up right at the beginning of October. So I was like scrambling to get shit done. We ended up moving the date because it didn't work. It, it wasn't going to work out. But um, so Monday, I was like in my brain, I was like, I'm going to work on the Elden Ring video all day because me and the guys are hanging out tomorrow at like four or five, and Evan's going to reveal his grounded video. So it's me, did he you know, actually Barney, do that? Brian. I missed that, I think, if he did that. He, tomorrow he's he's releasing it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, and I thought it would be a really cool surprise since I've been sitting on this Elden Ring video for like a year, more at this point, to like just get it done. But I had to start moving all the shit out of my room that day. So didn't get anything done. And then for the rest of the week, I I didn't Wait, get anything done. I have, a, I have a genuine question about you moving. You move in October 13th, you said? 14th, yeah. 14th it's september 8th as of this recording yeah so you're gonna sleep on couches and have your stuff like what are you doing how are you moving how is it taking that long to move i know it takes a while to move but like when are you like taking trips to go drop stuff off like it's 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 it's, sleeping it's so multifaceted okay i can just i can tell you the exact plan um so the original plan was was 10 one. So we got a lot of shit done thinking that we we're going to go into a 10 one. And then we were like, we can't do a 10 one. There's no possible way. So I moved it to a 10 15, which is actually going to be a 10 14. Cause that's the Saturday that we're going to go there. Um, these are dates you're talking about. Yes. My parents okay. are selling 10-4. the house November 1st. We're putting the house on the market November 1st, this house that I'm sitting in right now. Oh, so if anyone's they, interested. they wanted me to, they wanted me to move out of my, my room so they can fix up like all the dents and all bruises, the, all stands, the walls yeah. and shit. All the cum stains all over the walls and shit. Um, what? So they wanted me to get the fuck out of this room and move into the living room while they fix up They're this. Tired room. of their son being a, 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 hey, a to be fair, to be fair, Zach. Ben is the least of their problems as children go. <laughs> That's damn right. That's damn right. Um, so I needed. I they wanted me to get out. You know, well before 
November 1st and I was going to leave October 1st anyway. That was the plan. So that's why I moved most of my stuff out at this point. I'm just moving it out. I'm actually going to have this desk in the living room for a, for a portion of time too, which is going to be podcast so in your living room. It's podcast in my living room. Um, only one, I think it would be in my living room. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'm going to be in, so Alexis is getting a complicated tonsillectomy and adenoid removal. Oh, I've done um, that. I've had one of those. Yep. On the uh, 18th. So I'm going there the 16th and I'm going to be there until the 29th or the 30th. No head. <sighs> Can't. <laughs> <Tons like to me. laughs> um, they say so, they, they told me when I had mine that I could only eat things that were soft. And did you say like your mom's ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like seven years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I had I'm going to be there for two weeks. So there's no way there was no way that an October, uh, October 1st date was going to move. And then I got, yeah, I got, I'm getting a U-Haul here on the 13th, 12th. 39.3% of our audience is 18 to 24 years old. Oh. Hmm? Oh, you're so old, Sean. Go down. Well, I don't know. Twenty nine point four percent of our audience is twenty five through thirty four. Yeah, there we go. And in fact, we have more audience members that are in the uh, thirty five to forty four yeah, year old range than we do thirteen to seventeen the, year olds. That's the Trump supporters for the uh, Roseanne Barr video. Oh no, that's on the other channel. It's oh, on okay, the other okay, channel. Okay. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be one living room episode. Wow, and then it's gonna be probably probably a break, uh, given so are, not everything's moved in on time. Are we doing something for you to move out? Like, uh, so now that we have an extra two weeks, we definitely can. It's up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to like, do, I can, like, I can do like, something, bro. I will do like a ten minutes of stand up or something. Yeah, when I, yeah, I'll just I'll, uh, I'll, I can get Alexis into town. You guys, you guys can set up whatever, and I'll just bring Alexis into town and just gonna go wherever, do whatever you guys want to do. I don't care. Make a collage of, of uh, get pissed, drunk, at and then do stand up. Joey, uh, Joey is working on some stand up bits. He's been doing some uh, open mic nights. Maybe we can get him to come to and send you off, dude. I would love to see Joe. I haven't seen him in so long. Um, but yes, and also weird, weird thing. Where I am now, I think I told this to Sean. Where I, where I am now, and where my parents are moving to, is equidistant to. Cleveland Heights. It is exactly the same amount of time to get to both places. Hmm. Very weirdly. I don't know what that okay. means. So it is the same. Like, I, I mean, I, same, I know what it literally means, but it, what, are you implying something? Like, No, I'm just saying I, I just did not. I considered, I thought it, yeah, it would be much it, closer it is to North interesting, Carolina. I guess that is like, it's interesting. Like it makes yeah. like a triangle almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a nine hour. It's going to be a nine hour drive and I'm not going to have my dog and I'm going to kill myself probably. So yeah, you're gonna yeah, miss me too. You're gonna miss your dog. Oh man, oh man. You wanna do you wanna do a memorial service or something, Zach? Is that yeah, what I already you're looking for? Oh, you I thought one. Zach he's when he was gonna picture. kill himself. Oh he no, both, he both he, of those okay. he said yeah. Yeah, yeah his dog I, died, I caught so. up. We should just change so. the tagline of this show to just live life with us. This is just kind of like a virtual life vlogging channel. Yeah, yeah, like the VTuber that was here. No. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna be an Ohio resident. That's crazy. Maybe I'll, maybe another East Palestine will happen and I'll die. That'd be good content. Death? Yeah. Yeah. It would so be anyway, um, one of the things that, I, I, before I go, one of the things that I wanted to sort of, maybe not pitch, one of the things I was thinking about, and, uh, and the reason I hesitate to say pitch is because I don't want to sound... Isaiah, do another 13-part hour-long video series for us. Interested? No pay. <laughs> yeah, no pay. Negative pay. You pay us. Did he go? Bro, he booked it. He said, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> anyway, Cut. one of the things that I... <laughs> one, of, yeah. one of the things I was uh, I was talking with Joey and actually a little bit with Tristan about... Um, so the uh, podcast is called uh, Money and Growth Weekly. Uh, uh, the, have the video up. Have that fucking podcast up, so I can I can I can put the video here. Yeah, yeah. Have that fucking podcast up by the time we release this video. Right, anyway, one itch. of the things that I wanted to talk about is I am very interested in growth and success, but not from like the perspective of like if you look up like successful or how to become successful or whatever. It's all like red pill, like Andrew Tate esque things, and. I feel like there's a huge lack of like authentic content where there's like, like there's not like average 
dudes like documenting the way to a success. Um, I think, um, so one of the things that I wanted to do is I was talking with Ben about this. Uh, there's a couple YouTubers, but one of them specifically is this guy, Destiny, um, that they have like membership tier lists where like monthly he'll do like viewer call-ins if you're a certain member rank or whatever. And I was thinking about like doing that for a month and then asking him or other YouTubers or whatever for like interviews of like, hey, what, you know, how would you define your success? Where, like, what do you think your journey was like? How do you feel like it's different from, you know, like what's it, what advice would you give to someone starting you and not, and more importantly, I would want to press them. I, I would not want dumbass answers like, oh, well, you know, you just got to stick with it. <laughs> like, okay, obviously, bro. Like, make a whole like, video about that. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. like, there's like tools to the trade that people don't want to say. I well, feel it's like. not even that they don't want to say. I want to pull out from people. I want to hear someone say like, "There's a lot of luck involved, bro," or like, you know. Yeah, Ludwig's very honest with that. He's like, oh, "No, is it Ludwig?" Ludwig, I'm thinking of Nick Pollum. Are very honest. They're like, "Yeah, Ludwig it's, it's like 95 percent about I, why you know it's not." Who I've been liking. Oh, I found by accident is, is Devin Nash. Do you know who Devin Nash is? I love Devin yeah. Nash. Okay. I'm, I've been subscribed to Devin Nash been, for a long time. I've been time liking now. his con. I found him like uh, a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh, he actually seems really direct and like detailed yep. in his, in his statements and stuff. And it's not ever like, bro, you just got to dig deep and find something in yourself. And look. Oh, he owns a marketing firm. He is very direct with. Yeah. Uh, and so there's something do. like really interesting about that. And, and like, I like the idea of like, I want to be successful. I like the idea. If I'm being emotionally honest, I sort of like in some sort of nebulous principle, the like image that like it, and Andrew Tate portrays where it's like, he's free mm -hmm. to do whatever he wants. I don't care about cars. I don't care about women, but like the idea of where he can just be like, yeah, fuck it. I can do whatever I want. Like there's a certain level of like financial freedom that I'm looking for. And in order to do that, I do need to do stuff like be more rigid with a schedule, be a little more analytical with yeah. content and stuff. And I, that's sort of what I want to document and go through and maybe, and I've seen like Destiny, that guy that I was talking about, his, he, if you, if someone calls in and gets them on the right tangent, he'll go off about how to do certain YouTube deals or how certain things work behind the scenes for him. And I start, I think stuff like that is super fascinating. So obviously I, I don't want to get too in the weeds on this right now. And I'm not even saying I'd be even a good fit for that content either, but we should, we should talk off air for a little bit. I, Ben knows this. I just this week set up an LLC for a business thing that I'm doing. Business owner. Thinks so. cool. I actually would like, I would even go so far as to say that I would interview people and this is not me pitching, but someone like the guy that you do video edits for in a sense of like, he, that's kind of why I'm starting. I, I don't want to, I don't want to get too. Yeah. 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 We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. Talk yeah, off yeah. air for a little bit. I would bit, love to but, talk off air with you. Yeah, I, I let's just I, I made some connections and I now am yeah, a, yeah. am a part time I, business owner due to the connections I've made. I made that guy. a very interesting connection that um, will probably work out different than I originally entailed, but that's the point of connections. Uh, I really, really want to get out of chemistry. I hate working in the lab. I, I there's it's there's no growth. Is that what your new job interview thing is for though? No, it's or sales. No, it's chemical different. sales. Oh, so it's a shit. I'll sell it, your chemicals. It's a shitload of money. And it's, it's either work from home or in an office, or sometimes it's visiting the client to like sell them on a new instrument or something. It doesn't matter. It's not in the lab. It's, it's money. And I can always, they're going to have you push opioids to doctors. That's fine. I can reinvest that money in something. <laughs> and yeah, in an, into something in different. Bugatti or whatever. But, um, no, what the Bugatti. fuck? The How does he say it? Bugatti. 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 He says Gatti. Uh, um, but Bugatti. So I went to Haley and I go to this farm every week. Uh, we had a, it's called a crop share in the winter. You pay them money. And then in the uh, summer, we, we recently used to do a crop share. Yeah. 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 So we do a crop share there and there was this chiropractor there and I went up to him. I can't say his name. It's Dr. M. I can link it to you, but uh, I don't think I have the past. Good job. Good job, Sean. Not do no, yeah, not, no docs. Bleeps, no you, docs. Sometimes when you watch our show, it sounds like Sean's cursing up a storm, but really he's just saying people's names. Yeah. Bro said no docs. I'm very proud of you, Sean. Uh, I didn't say Congrats. no docs. Uh, I said I don't have the pass because his name sounds weird. But um, Dr. M. Oh, never mind. Dr. M. I was talking to him and I was like, listen, I'm a chemist. 
I'm trying to get out of chemistry or it's in some way, like, is there any advice you could give me? Cause he, he owns his own business or whatever. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to talk to him. And he's like, you want to shadow me? If you're interested in becoming like a chiropractor, you could just shadow me for a day. So I took a sick day from work and I shadowed him for a day. And I got to be honest, it, it seems like very rewarding. A lot of his clients were like, no matter what you think, uh, it seems like chiropractic has helped a shitload of these people, whether or not it's placebo or whatever. But he knows people for like 10 or 15 years. Like, oh, I've been coming to see Dr. M for 15 years. I've been, you know, whatever. Um, and so I started doing this whole thing where I was asking him about different schools, looking into being different chiropractic programs and stuff like that. And he knows so many people. And in my town, there are so many old, there's so many old money families. And he was saying like, oh, like, yeah, look across that building into that plaza. In that plaza, those three buildings that I'm pointing to are owned by this family here. And I do the mother and father's chiropractic or whatever. So he has all these connections. So one day I was like, yeah, I don't know if chiropractic is for me, but I, I still have so many fucking questions. And he was like, you want to just do lunch? And he like took me out to lunch to a nice restaurant on like a Saturday and uh, I was like, fuck, yeah. Get his number. Yeah, well, he paid for my lunch and everything. And I and, he, but he, and I was like, I'm just going to be up front with you. Like, this is a great connection. I feel like I, I'm glad you took me to lunch, et cetera, et cetera. But what do I do with connections? Like, now that we've talked, like, I was like, what do I, you know, like, what am I yeah. doing here? I just got free lunch, but I feel like I don't want to, like, wait. And he yeah. goes, uh, to be honest, just ask. And I'm like, well, all right, give me a week and I'll come up with some questions. <laughs> like, can you pay for schooling or something? You know, I'm not, you know, I don't know, but I don't know. But that's all to say, like connections are, it's so weird because it, I thought it was just meet a rich guy. He likes you. So he gives you money, but obviously <laughs> that's trigger daddy. Yeah. But that's not actually how that works. I, I will say though, if there's anything I learned, both from my job now, I've learned this lesson a lot just through what I do for, currently for my work, but even through going through and doing tons of my own side hustles and meeting other creative people, people like Ben and Isaiah and whatnot, but doing what you want to do, like 70% of it's networking. Like yeah. 70% of it is like just meeting the right people yeah. and being able to put your foot in the well, door. That's, that's why I'm, I, I'm making this concerted effort to keep in contact with this guy. Even if I really don't, I looked into chiropractic schools, they require a 2.7 or 3.0 minimum on your undergrad GPA. Oh, <laughs> and, perfect. And yeah. uh, I have a 2.4. So that shit ain't going nowhere. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um, for chiropractic? Yeah, well, it's technically a doctor. I hate to say it's it is. Some of them aren't so, even real doctors, it, right? They are real doctors. Th that is the problem, is that they are legitimately real doctors. And um, the other problem with that is because it's actually a doctor program. It is actually a program in which you graduate and, and are allowed to legally call yourself a doctor. There are no transfer credits. So there's no getting a head start. It's a three-year program. You need a certain GPA from an undergrad to get in, but none of your credits from that actually count towards your degree. So it's still three years. So even Bro, if even you can if, learn how to be a chiropractor, we could do IRL episode and you can break both our backs. Here's the thing. The I, exact already breaks my back. Here's the thing. Uh, if, you know, if I had, if I got this upcoming job in like two or three years, I probably could afford to go to a chiropractor school for three years. But as it's that really what you want to do, or are you just met me, me, are you just inspired because you met this man? Um, it's a shitload of money. Is there is really money the only thing that inspires you? Uh, no, but money would give me that. Like, okay, so for instance, this guy works Monday through Thursday. Um, he does seven a.m. to three p.m., and then he makes like two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a <laughs> fucking year. And all I could think of is like I could do that for a couple of years, and then have like on the side make chess videos and stuff. You know what I mean? And so money no, is just a means to a, to a freedom to me. It's not. Yeah, I was going to say, Sean t talks all the time about how his, his fucking student loans are chasing him. They're chasing him down with a goddamn knife. If I didn't have student loans, I'd work at Target. I swear to God, I, yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that that's just, student loans are the most, the fucking, one of the worst Fair enough. I guess I'm planet. not in a position where I'm really like. I have like over $100,000 in student loan debt, so. I'm just saying, I, I feel like it's it's unfair for me to cast any sort of judgment on your situation. Oh, no, your here's the thing. I want people to judge it because I was telling Haley this, like, I am very independently rigid. Like, if I feel like I believe something, it's very difficult to, like, you poke holes all you want. 
but I, I'm going to be like, oh, that hole's not really real. You know what I mean? Or like, oh, the reason that reason I don't care about X, Y, Z. So someone could be super mean to me, like forget being just honest, but someone could just be mean to me. And it's just not just gonna, It's just not going to deter. I mean, unless you say something like, are you sure X, Y, or Z is a good idea because A, B, or C? And then like, if that's actually true, I'll, I'll think about it. But for the most part, like if someone's like, you don't really, really want to be a chiropractor. I don't want to be anything. Bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, but, so judge away. You know, I feel like though, and maybe I'm just super, my perspective on this is super warped again, due to where I work. But like, I see people with like no education, make more money than yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, that's what pisses me off. Not that they, yeah. not that they do or do not have education, but it's like, I need to figure but, out what's going on. <laughs> I, I, I was I just also, having. I, I also think I have like again like legitimate brain warp. Like it's it's twofold, right? Number one, it's a good brain warp because it's like, oh, this is opening my mind up to new ideas that I'm going to try out that could potentially help me get to where I want to be financially and mentally and everything like that too. But then there's also a second part of the brain warp too, where it's like, oh, now I'm around a bunch of people that make all this shit either look easy or they're in these worlds that like you know, skews my perspective on like normal things in a way where it's like, that might not be true, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I work insurance. Yeah. But here's the thing. I'm a video editor. I'm a chemist. Uh, <laughs> well, you sound the coolest out of the three of us. I feel like it's not cool though. When you say chemist, it's like alchemist, but with like, without the al- I were yeah, doing alchemy or pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals cool. that would be one thing, but I say, when you die, how do you want to be remembered? I mean, I'm not going to be there, so I guess I don't really care, but uh, I don't know. Like, your legacy or just, like, yeah. what for? Yeah, I just, I mean, just my stories and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. I like writing, so I'm going to tell a lot. That'd be pretty cool. You got a, you got a dream job? Uh, just doing what I want, doing my own, my, my own business. Like, yeah. well, YouTube, and then I, I, do, we do, I do some freelance editing. Um, and that's I just opened up my thumbtack to the back up today, actually. Oh, nice. The, the, the thing is the thing with being a, like I, I, for years, I wanted to be like a YouTube personality. Like that was like my, my I'll see you guys around. I love you, Sean. See you around. Nice meeting you, Isaiah. Mm -hmm. The idea of being a YouTuber used to be like so attractive to me. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I've said it before. I pretty much made a channel that was emulating my favorite channel at the time, Rooster Teeth, for three years. Like, working my shirt. ass off. Look at my shirt. Actually, I was wearing the shirt last time, wasn't I? Last episode. I think I was. Um, I, I haven't taken it off. Um, and then I thought about, like, the the responsibility. Like, I, I the idea of have being, having to be, like, some, like, squeaky clean in the modern era. Like there's no, there, there's no room for improvement. Like you're, you, you're always, if you do something bad when you're like 17, you're still a bad person when you're 27. Yeah. Like that shit. I'll I'm like, run into the, I'll run into that problem. Yeah. I mean that, that that's just something that I don't want to like have to deal with. Like, I just don't want to deal with it. I just want to make videos that I like. So if other people like end up finding the videos, I'm actually, it actually gives me more anxiety if they are more popular. Even though I'm making this Elden Ring video and hoping for like many views from it, I mean, I think you just kind of have to take the route that we're taking now, where it's like we're just upfront, like kind of crude people. Like I, don't, I wouldn't even say we're like offensive or anything. You know what I mean? Like we don't, we're not going and stirring a lot of pots that shouldn't be stirred, right? But like we're just ourselves, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, there's, I, no, I, I there's think... no like what Sean was saying. Like with you can, or were, were you saying this earlier? One of you was saying this earlier, where you're talking about people that have like these an fronts. Act. They do an act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't, I, mean, I don't think we have any of that. No. And well, and I, I think that, I mean, it's a really weird and like nuanced, not, not nuanced, but like weird. It's just a weird example. But I always think of like episode one of always sunny and they're just dropping the N word hard R <laughs> like Charlie day is dropping the N word hard R. And then, and now in 2023, Charlie day is in the fucking Mario movie, like the most child friendly, kid friendly, marketable. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, people, People are redeemable, clearly. Like he wrote and said the N word. But the opposite of that I mean, is also true. Five. People knew, like uh, people know though. Like it's it's just when stuff is well written and when you know, like when you just you know that it's a joke, 
it's different because like I, I don't think I would I because I know you're right, but I don't think I don't think he ever got in controversy. I've never heard any controversy over that no. for always sunny. No. It was the Robert Downey Jr. thing too. He did blackface and he still has yeah. one of the most profitable careers. But then the opposite thing's true too, where like a successful celebrity will have a video come out of them saying it and then their career's over, you know, for a lot of people. So I just find it interesting. Me personally, I find it more interesting to see it's almost like the internet kind of picks picks and chooses who yeah. they feel like it's acceptable to get away with certain things. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I'm not saying like, you should be able to get away with it or not. Yeah, I'm just it's saying it's weird case, how selective sure, it seems to be. It is very selective, and it's yeah, it's very case by case, and it's very fucking annoying because that that just adds more anxiety. That like I, I there's a part of me you're that not going to, around saying the n word though. That's not your eye. Right. <laughs> no, um, no. But when, I, but when I was like, but when I was like, I have vlogs from when I was 14, and I was dropping the n word hard a soft a. For the, for the sake of example, but I mean they're and they're unlisted now. But what if someone finds them? Like you know what I mean? Like I if, just if, delete if, those. If the Elden Ring video pops off, you I know mean, what I mean? Let's be real though. The Elden Ring video is not going to lead directly to that. The, your one. No, Elden I know. Ring I know. Video I'm, I'm, not... I'm being hyperbolic, but I'm saying sure. like if the Elden Ring video brings in a million subscribers, and now and now I, someone f- somehow finds this unlisted video of mine from years ago. You know what I mean? Like, it, it could probably just delete it. I don't want to delete it. I like you the have video. Hard drives. Why do you like the video? You have hard oh, drives. I like. I like. They're, they're cringy vlogs from when I was fourteen. I, I like the content. It's just the fact that it is not socially accept, acceptable to say what I said when I was like what fourteen, fifteen, and twenty ten. I said shit that wasn't acceptable to say yeah. too. I'm uh, just saying they're stored locally and not where someone could potentially find a password. But that, that, that's just what gives me the anxiety is that like, I want, I would like to be successful, but I know that I don't have a squeaky clean track record at all. When Mark, it comes to show. my content. He's I mean, this show is like the, the this show is a little bit, um, uh, you know, it's edgy or whatever, but my worst joke, my worst comments and jokes and words that I said are definitely way, you know, the worst things said on the show are not from you or I. It's Sean. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, well, sometimes it's, it's the other people that come along that yeah. are unvetted that will say shit. But yeah, yeah like Isaiah. Yeah. Isaiah has yeah. been fucking just off dropping the rails slurs this left episode. and right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I do. All right. I, silence for a second. Yes, I can leave. I got to go. It has right. been fun, though. It was nice talking to you, Ben, specifically you and yeah. you're you. It's fine. But I, it was nice seeing you, Jack. All right, bye guys. I love you, brother. Take Goodbye. it easy. See you in another 23 episodes. <laughs> I feel bad because um, he messaged me. He had to leave like a while ago, and I just kept talking despite knowing he said he wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I, I heard him just being like, hey, guys. Hey, uh, I, <laughs> like, I kept hearing him say that, and I was just talking right he over said him. At, he said five minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, he said five minutes ago he wanted to leave. So. That's funny. Okay, I, I mean, was it was it the context of the conversation? Do you think I, no, I kind no. of worried I mean, about that? I mean, I guess I don't know. But he said, "I don't want to interrupt, but I also must leave once he's done." Oh, then yeah, I'm sure. I'm so sure. yeah, I mean, he didn't. I mean, maybe he's being extra polite, and you said something, but it seemed to be before that. So yeah. I fucking hate you, Ben. Dude, that shit you pulled earlier today. I was gonna leave. It. I was considering when I was down there getting that food. I was like, what if I just never replied to another message he sent me for like. Ever, just because I, I invited. What if that was a, just it? What if I just left Isaiah here and I just stopped talking to everyone? Just because I invited a cute anime girl to wish you happy birthday for your I'm birthday. I'm taken. Be, she can still be cute in anime, and say Zaki Kun and shake her head like a little V two. Zaki Kun sounds like something you probably also shouldn't say. That sounds like something you should censor. <laughs> I didn't even think. I didn't even think of the slur when I was saying it. I was thinking of, yeah, the the, the yeah. horrific. I I gotta say, I did miss you. I miss you too. I uh, I wanted to have you send something ready for your birthday, and I was so focused on inviting, getting it, and uh, belly a chin, um, <laughs> in the call, that I forgot to get you a gift. But just know that the gift is the thought of me getting you a gift and yeah. the work that I put in to to get belly a chin to work. Belly a chin, dude was a lot and it did not work that good. She was, she always had a 1.2 second delay on anything she said. It was a mess. Yeah. The intro to this video will be, I wonder how many people will, will stick through 
me being well, the thumbnail awkward. is going to be you and Belia Chan. It's going to say Zach's new girlfriend, and it's going to be you going. But you know what's funny though? This is the yeah. this episode was the opposite problem of what we usually have, and not say that it's it's a, ever a problem, right? Like I always enjoy coming on here and just talking with you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I miss you. And just and just shooting the shit, enjoying our our our, our cute little little friendship here, and being able to make some fun edits and feel good about them. But I feel like a lot of times, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, it's a little, I don't have any ideas. I don't have anything to talk about. This episode was the complete opposite of that, where it's like, we got a guest I want to interview about some shit. Ben had this belly a Chan thing he wanted to pitch. Sean joined. I had a lot of things going on in my life with a lot of life updates. You had a lot of things going on with your life and life updates. And it's just like, there's a lot happening. (laughs) You know what I mean? And so it's like, you know what though? I'm 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 happy this happened this way, right? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm happy that was, we're kind of just swinging big. It was definitely very chaotic. More of my dogs okay. should die. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <God>. Christ, dude! <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. I, I, R.I.P. Please. I know. I, I do you want actually? Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to get like actually kind of like real for a, a little bit? <clears throat> You're gonna make me cry. Um, no, I don't think so. I um, the other day, when was it? It was like Monday night. I sobbed for like an hour. I, I need to I need to get these sobs out because um, I'm moving out and I, I my my dog is nine now, and I'm kind of aware that I'm not going to see her that often before she goes, and I have to like kind of prepare myself to like think mm. of her as passing away already. You know what I mean? I have to like be ready for that, and I'm never I've never been good at that. So I had, I, I need to get a few good sobs in, and I had one Monday. Where I was just like, just the idea of not being around her was just destroying me from the inside. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, those are, I mean, those kind of, um, I think moments are very important. Like when you, like you, you I'm sure you, you, you cried when you're, you know, oh, your, yeah. your dog passed. Um, it, it, that was a weird one too. She had a, a really rare skin disease called Pem femagus or something like that. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, essentially her body recognized her skin as like an antigen, right? As like a foreign, it recognized her own skin as like a foreign object, right? Uh, so her immune system was literally fighting her own skin. Um, and she was on medication for it for you. I have some pictures of her where she looked awful for a while. Did it look like um, mange or something? Yeah. I mean, I could, if you want to see some gory pictures, I could send you it's what she gory. looked like for a while. Oh, I mean, she was like, hundreds of open sores all over her body and just like bleeding everywhere and just, oh, but you know, they put her on all these steroids and medications and she was looking really good. I mean, after months of, uh, battling a really serious and deadly disease, she started to look good and happy again. But the issue was, um, she just had no immune system, um, due to all the drugs they were putting her on and the disease eating her skin. Like she had zero immune system, zero way to fight back against anything. I was, um, uh, her, this was like about a week ago, her ear started to inflate, uh, like fill with pus, some kind of like infection. And they, uh, my parents took her to the vet and they, um, they said that they were too afraid to drain it because if it got infected or something or like putting more foreign objects in the ear or whatever could potentially, uh, um, they didn't want to risk it. Essentially. They would much prefer to wait and see if it went down on its own. Um, this weekend I took a trip up to Flagstaff, just kind of a weekend thing. And right before I left, it was like massive. Like this ear was like overinflated. Um, and by the time I got back, her ear exploded. It Wait, literally. So her, her, the, when you say ear, you're not talking about like stuff coming out of her ear. You're saying the actual like flap the actual of her ear. ear. The flap of her ear was like this big. Like Jesus this Christ. thick and this big. And it, it like exploded. And so, so what, I what me- would happen if you just amputated the ear, like the ear flap? Well, they weren't even comfortable with puncturing it with a needle to drain it. Yeah. Like they didn't want to put anything in her because she had, again, this serious, uh, no, no immune system. What ironically enough, she looked much happier after her ear exploded Parked. off of her yeah, body because I mean, ma- she got all that pressure out. Yeah. But, um, I immediately knew that wasn't a good thing because they were too afraid to put anything in her. And having a big open wound on her body was uh, not the best. And uh, sure enough, the next day, you know, she uh, was struggling to breathe and they took her into the ER and everything. And, you know, what happened? Yeah, happened. 
So. And the worst thing about, and I don't mean to, I don't mean to make you emotional at all, but the worst thing about animals going is that they can't telegraph how they feel. I think, you know what I mean? And that was something that was exceptionally sad about this one though, is she was very emotionally intelligent. Like I know everyone feels that way about their pet, right? Everyone yeah, thinks yeah, their fucking does. dog is special. Everyone thinks yeah. their fucking cat is special, but we have three dogs. And to be real with you, as much as I love all of them, the pugs st- are stupid as fuck. They'll, yeah. They're no, nowhere close. I have them, I, know, I, I know. Yeah, <laughs> but, I know. That, that, that's but, what I'm saying. You know what I mean? The, the pugs himself, he's a goofy little guy, but the other dog too, I love her to death as well. Like I'd be just as sad if she died, but, um, she is just like a normal dog. Like she acts like a dog would act, you know, the one yeah. that passed was a very, like, uh, she talked to you. You know what I mean? Like she knew when you were feeling bad, she was like an emotional support animal, right? Like she yeah, knew she, she, she could read you like she, as much yeah, as she could, could read, read her, her yeah. really well. And, uh, she could communicate to you really well when she needed help as well too. So it yeah. was, it was exceptionally, uh, hard for that reason. And then also like, I don't think there was any doubt in my mind, you know, like I, I think she was as, as aware as I was, if that made sense. That she was going to go. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That, that's, that, that's the sad thing is like, cause I've had, I've had animals. I, I, I am a big pussy when it comes to like loss in general, like I, I went through a breakup in high school and it was like a horrible time in my life for years, for years. No, I, I, I had one ruin me for like a whole year too. It's okay. My, 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 I had three dogs pass away in the, you know, like the span of like four or five oh years. My God. And, um, I couldn't go to any of their, the, I couldn't watch them get put down because I, I can't deal with the idea that something I can look at something and it can't communicate with me. Something that I communicated with closely for, you know, 10, 15 years can't communicate back. That that idea is horrifying to me. I don't know what it is. I, it's something that I have to deal with. I'm kind of seeing moving out. I know yeah. this is kind of a joking, like aside to what we're talking about. But like every time I thought of Helen Keller, I thought of like imagine being blind, deaf, blind and deaf at the same time, and imagine your life at that point. Imagine like someone feeding food to you. How scary that must feel. Yeah. Someone yeah. giving you a shower and you have no context for the world around you. Obviously, Helen Keller could see and speak and shit before she went like that. So it wasn't like she had context. But imagine a baby is born, can't see or can't hear. So you have no way of like educating it. Yes, I know you can learn through Braille and shit too. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't think, and maybe I'm completely wrong about this. I don't think you can just pick it up directly from Braille. I think you have to kind of learn a little bit. Well, mm-hmm. you have some sensory stuff with you. I think so, yeah. Um, I could be totally wrong about that. I'm sorry if I am. But I'm just imagining a scenario where you have no context for the world around you and people like shoving stuff down your throat and you don't know why you're hungry, but you feel hungry. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like mm-hmm. like that that type of, that's like it's a weird horror story on its own. Oh yeah, just the, the fact that like, because you'd just be lost. Like, I, I feel like you'd feel lost all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you only have, you're missing two major senses. I mean, and Helen Keller was obviously successful in some way. So, fuck. I don't know. Yeah, how, she flew that plane. I actually don't remember anything about Helen Keller. I'll be real with you. I have no idea what the fuck she did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but... um. My dog was the Helen Keller of animals. Your dog was the... She flew the plane? Actually, she was the opposite. She had more than enough context for the world around her. <laughs> um, yeah, my Because my dog is also... She's. I, I, don't, I think poodles are known specifically to be very emotionally intelligent. And she's always, she's, uh, she's a, uh, a cockapoo. So she's half poodle. Um, it's actually yeah, funny. One sixteenth poodle. Ooh, what are the other 15th? Cherokee Indian. <laughs> That's one of them. Um, but like, I was actually joking with my mom, my mom today about it because there, my mom found pee in her office on the floor. And Sorry. yeah, well, I was, I was, I was like, that wouldn't be, the dog I like the big, big girl is what I call her. Like that wouldn't be big girl. That doesn't make any sense. And, and, and big girl goes over and smells it and, and uh, like acts normal. And I'm like, yeah, that's definitely not big girl. That wasn't big girl that did it because big girl one time she, so she likes this thing when you scream into her, like you scream into her fur, she freaks the fuck out. And one time I did that too much. And she peed herself that a to little me bit. What you meet in person, by the way, will you pee yourself a little bit? Only if that makes you happy. Good. Um, so I screamed, I, I screamed into her tummy and then she peed herself a little bit because I was doing it too much. 
and she smelled it and she was immediately guilty that she peed. It was on, like on my bed. She was immediately guilty that she peed. She put her tail between her legs and walked away. She did not do that with this pee. And so that's the kind of like you can just see the emotion like in that dog. And that's that is like the most you can get out of an animal. Did you it, sleep it's, in it's that bed that night? I had to, I had to clean the okay. blanket. It was an electric blanket too. What does that mean? An, it was electric, an electric blanket? blanket? Yeah. Does it just shock you awake? Wait. I never considered this. You wouldn't use an electric blanket in Arizona. Like a, I've like lived a, not in Arizona before. But yeah, but you yeah. should know what an electric blanket is. That's what I was thinking too. But you should you should know what an electric blanket is. This is just a heated blanket. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard it referred to as an electric blanket. Maybe I'm just retarded. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. Um. Yeah, but uh, animals are should be cherished every day. That's yeah, I care. I mean, I I hear this sentiment a lot. But like, I do genuinely feel more emotionally uh, attached to animals than I do people. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I wake up every morning and I hug my dog every single morning. Like, I, yeah. I, I mean, I, logically, I never right? Like, if a if a person, if you see a person dead, it's more urgent than an animal dead. But like, I feel worse. Yeah. Well, the the thing about an animal, the thing about the animal, yeah, hundred percent. The thing about the animal is that it didn't know. They, yeah, they, it's innocence. They never have any like bad intention. You know, besides, you know biting something sometime you whatever you know what i mean like when i go into my kitchen my dog's wag- wagging her tail all she wants is my animals attention. out there huh they're probably evil animals out there yeah like fucking wildebeests <laughs> yeah there's probably like a dog out there who's like the Not hitler of dogs actually javelinas are the worst animals Those period dogs but i know javelinas yeah they're no, javelinas worst. aren't the worst they're annoying and they can attack you but they're mostly leave you alone they're just ugly pigs, and that's all I'll ever see them as. Come out here um, and see if you have Alinas. What? We got Havelinas out here. You hear that? Is that Bowser? Yeah, I like just got that at Build a Bear. It's a Build a Build a Bear Bowser. Build a Bear Bowser. Yep, it was for the movie. We got it. It was like fifty bucks for that fucking thing. Um, I actually pulled my chin muscle yawning. Show me. Dan, that's pulled. Wow. I had, I, had, I had a conversation I wanted to have with specifically you, so I'm, like, I'm actually glad it's just me and you, but I can't remember what it was. I'm happy the NFL season started. <laughs> Bro, I'm being ditched now. So What? Okay. You broke up with your girlfriend you're moving more, in with? In more context. Brian and Barney now live together. Cute. Barney bought a house. Brian lives there. On Thursdays, they watch the game together in the living room. What happened to boys' Thursdays, dude? Imagine. Was Thursdays for the boys? Uh, no. I just look like talking to my boys whenever I want to. I don't care when they want to. Um, I do remember what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, last episode, I talked to you. I got a bunch of Dragon Quest games, right? This wow. isn't about the Dragon Quest games, kind of. I went to Ohio. I brought Dragon Quest six because I thought I was going to finish Dragon Quest five in Ohio, and I didn't. Ohio is, and I put it in a little, I put it in a little carrying case that big, and I put it in my bag. And I and I got home and I could not find Dragon Quest six. I was freaking out. I was like, oh, you know, when I empty my room, I'll find it. I emptied my room. I could not find it. I'm freaking out. I'm like, bro, that was a hundred dollar game. I can't lose it. I go into my car. I'm like, maybe it fell out of my backpack when I opened it up to get my Pepsi. I'm going to like on the floor. I'm moving a bunch of shit. Like, because my car's a mess. I come inside. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm like searching behind my monitors and all this shit. I, I, for the fifth time, fifth or sixth time, I go into my suitcase and I search around and I'm like, I put, I lay it on its back and I'm like playing around with the felt. And I'm like, I'm like, I know some, you know, the felt in some suitcases. There's like an underside where there's like the plastic or whatever. So I'm like, maybe it's in there. And I'm like moving to the front and I hear like a move, like a move, the movement of something in like a case. And I'm like, maybe that's it. So I'm like trying to get under it, bro. There's just a fucking little pocket that I must've fallen into in my suitcase that I looked in five or six times. And I, and I found my hundred dollar game. I'm happy you didn't act dumb. I was so so upset. I was actually I, when I got out of my car and I, when I didn't find it, and I got out of my car. I was genuinely considering just ending my Dragon Quest journey there because I didn't want to buy another hundred dollar game. So 
I haven't played it since we actually the last time we talked, I have not played Dragon Quest since. I'm trying to think, what's the most expensive thing I've ever lost? A friendship. Priceless. No. Just can't put a dollar amount to that though. That's I mean, true. That's true. Oh, my parents bought me a um a smartwatch one time. And uh, I abruptly moved out of one of my ex-girlfriend's apartments. Well, it was our apartment, but you know what I mean. Um, And I packed everything up in one night and left to never see her again. And uh, I left my smartwatch there. No, bro. (laughs) Free smartwatch for her, though. It was a Huawei, too. So it would have gotten banned in America anyways. Oh, shit. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Huawei is a Chinese brand of electronics. They were pretty popular over here for a few years before they got banned. Um, they're not like cheap knockoff shit. Like it's not like a wish.com smartwatch, right? It was just like the Chinese brand that was becoming internationally popular. And my parents just so happened to get me one. It was cool. And then I left it there. How, 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 what was the duration of time between those two events? Oh, me getting it and me losing it? Yeah. Maybe like a year. Hmm. You want to know what I lost that really hurt me as a human being? What? You're never going to, you, you actually, you might guess, but you, it, it, it's a stupid thing. <sighs> okay. Listen, I played through Pokemon Pearl when I was a kid. I was I about was, to say something Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. When I was like, when it first came out, so it came out in 2007. I was 11. I played through it. I had a, I had an overleveled Staraptor. I don't know what I did. I had my Pokemon Ranch on the Wii, and I could transfer Pokemon back and forth from Pearl into my Pokemon Ranch. And I was trading with friends, and I lost my fucking Staraptor, and it and it hurt me to this day. I have I have, mm-hmm. I have like I have uh, um, uh, hoarding issues due to that. Oh, that reminds me of that Nick Robinson video for storing that Blastoise. You should get that guy to come on and find your Staraptor back, bro. My Star- well, I don't, I don't have, the, I don't even have the game anymore. I, I, I lost it. The Pokemon Pearl I had. Shoot, you know I bought a fucking Pokemon Pearl for, in my journey to like all the games. I bought a fucking Pokemon Pearl from a retro game store, and it it did not work. I would put it in the the DS, and it would I would let me play for maybe like thirty minutes, and then it would crash i've never had a ds game just crash it would just crash and say the d the the, the ds cartridge couldn't be read blah 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 blah. you cannot save so i'd have to like play the game in 20 minute intervals save turn off the game turn on the game play 20 minutes turn off the, it was horrible it was awful when are we gonna play more you, man. fantasy star universe right now dude hop on no i'm no, not we doing can, it right um, now but soonish again as i said my my, my life's going to be kind of a little bit all over the place right so like i'm with you this weekend's my birthday stuff next weekend i'll be in denver um i think i want to there's a few people i told i'd hang out with in that time span as well too um and then like throughout the rest of the year i have like random concerts and trips and little tiny things like that so like um I have my girlfriend's birthday later this month too i think it also falls on like a fucking friday or something too so i just might um, I think between you moving and me having a bunch of little plans all over the place, this might kind of be a sporadic towards the end of the year of regurgitated stuff. But yeah, I, I think twenty twenty four, we're yeah. gonna recoalesce and it'll be we'll be strong in twenty twenty four. I really do believe that. You know what I thought about Zach what? earlier this week? I was like, "Fuck, I should start working." I said I told myself I was going to start working on this earlier. The twenty twenty three recap, regurgitated rewind. Oh my god, I forgot we do that. Yeah. I only have a few like we have what like maybe four more episodes left, but I'm like, oh god, that's like that's a lot of content that I gotta You don't have to make it as big of a project as you did last year. It's okay if you want to. But I um, want to. You know. It's okay if it's just little clips here and there and there and everything. But they are really um, good. They are really good. Um uh yeah, so I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to make it for each recording session, like regular, it's regularly scheduled recording session for the rest of the year. Cause I'm, I mean, Oh, on the schedule. I'm hoping so. 
I, mean, I need to make. I, I, to just get I the, might need to make some adjustments, but we'll that's see. That's fine. I'm, but I, I, I'm thinking that I might be available because I, I only need because the internet is already installed in the house. I can probably just ask the guy to move it to my name and my uh, my card or whatever, and then I have it. Um, and it's gigabit too. It's Spectrum. Wow, he's on the I Spectrum, know. everyone. I'm gonna. I am on the spectrum, and I'm gonna. And I'm gonna stream on that internet. Actually, that might be good too. We'll see. It's gonna be a good time. I don't know why my camera keeps like randomly freezing a little bit. You yeah, ever bro. see that? Oh yeah, you're uh, you're ghosting. But yeah, man. Earlier this week, I wanted to finally set up the. Uh, well, I was gonna say what it was, but that project that I was owning for the side piece on the show and do mm-hmm. more rebrand stuff. And make a couple of clips. Like I was planning on getting all that done. I was planning on doing that business meeting that I was telling you about, uh, setting up that business stuff. And then I was going to go set up our business stuff <laughs> and then work on rebrand stuff and a few more shorts that day. I was going to make it a really productive day for us. And then I was just like, I'm going to do nothing. Yeah. That's fair. But it's okay. You, we you, got that. You have, you have um, the right to do nothing. We got that football short that'll come out on sunday technically the start of the oh by the way if for some reason anyone's watching this and watch the nfl short if that got really popular and that's how you're watching this for some fucking reason um yeah i know the start of the nfl season wasn't when i posted it yeah i knew it was september 7th that was really the start of the nfl season oh but more games are happening on sunday the 10th so i tricked your ass I got more views out of you by lying to you. Wow. That's fucked wow. up, actually. Yeah. I'll maybe, do maybe that. Maybe they to were you. waiting on that to watch football. Creator. Maybe they were watch, waiting on that to watch football and yeah, you maybe fucked they it missed up. a football game because of me. Yeah, the Browns won. The Raiders won. I wish. I wish. What is the name of the fucking team? I don't remember. Yesterday. Oh, uh, there was the it was the it was the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Oh, Lions won. Lions won. Yep. Yep. It's I remember I remember, oh, commies. Uh, I remember uh yeah, Barney posted something in the our, our NFL channel. And I just I wanted to give you that knowledge like I knew it off the top of my head and I didn't. Oh yeah, I saw you guys. <laughs> What's funny is you guys have a channel called NFL Bite, or at least I saw yeah. you had one. Yeah. Um that was the same website I used for my illegal football streams. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> so, why we, yeah, that's why it's called that. Yeah. I don't know if they post links in there or not, but... Uh, so the illegal... No, they don't, they don't post yeah. links to the illegal stuff, but they, they talk about football and I have muted. Because of that. Yeah, dude, I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. The moving out process is stressing me out now when I realize how much money it, it costs to move into even just a rental. Because mm. I have to pay first month's rent and security deposit, and that's like fucking thirty five hundred dollars on its own. It's a lot. And then, and then the pet deposit, which is five hundred. I mean, that's split between me and Alexis or whatever. But still, it's like it's a fuck ton of money. Security deposits are a scam. Yeah, so I gotta pay him. I shouldn't say that. I know a lot of people in real estate, but they're a scam. Fuck security deposits. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna take a video of the house as soon as I get there, and before I move anything in, just so I get my security deposit when I don't fuck up anything up. Um, but dude, I'm gonna have my own office. I'm gonna be able to scream and yell and yell slurs oh, in my office. Con- I- you, you think we're gonna go hard on content? I'm hoping that I can go harder on content. Yes, and I, honestly, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put this out there. Part of me. Once a few episodes of the podcast to be live with people, trustworthy people, not Sean. Um, Lex browser is preventing recording. Yes, let's go. I think we should get the podcast going. We should just do a live podcast. Two of them. At the game schedule time. Only because um, I want to finish the editing the Elden video and editing the podcast takes too much of my mm. time. I wanted to spend all of my time that I would be editing the podcast, editing the Elden video to have it. So done. temporary, temporary live podcasts. Yeah. Two live, less edited podcasts. Send it. I mean, unless I you want, you want to edit them just but during a specific time gap. Yeah. Just I'm thinking two in a row, maybe November. 
Yeah, sure. So we can just finally get the fucking video done. Makes sense. Dude, and live is going to be hype as fuck. A live pod what is going to be hype as fuck. What if we blew up on live? Why would you do that? <laughs> 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 to demonetize, have it explode, <laughs> transition into a demonetized logo. <laughs> Shit, do we have anything else to talk about, Zach? What? I love you. I love you. I, you know what's um, funny? We haven't even touched. I don't even know what's going on in the world. There's a moth in my room. Oh, let me see. Where is it? It's up there. You can't really see it. My camera is so hot. I got a longer wire so I can move oh, it yeah. around. This face cam pro dude, it it gets burning, it gets burning, burning. I put it in my water bottle. It's worth bottle, it though. Now I'm gonna so now I'm gonna have tea. Um, but you know what's funny? We, we I don't even know what's going on in the world, Ben. I don't know what's going on in the world. We haven't talked about anything on the news, on Twitter, social media, any kind of content. We don't. I don't. There's no. Usually Jimmy we're Buffett kind of talking died. about that kind of stuff. Eh, Jimmy Buffett died. The guy from Smash Mouth died. Steve Harwell, dude. My That's dog's sad. up there at a Smash Mouth Jimmy Buffett concert. That, I thought of them together go crazy. Okay. I, I had an image in my mind that I, I wanted to Photoshop something that I personally thought was really funny, but I don't know anyone else that would ever find it funny. I but I was going to. I was gonna do a Photoshop image of half of my dog's face and half of XXX Tentacion, <laughs> like those memes you see on Twitter. But I was like, "There's no one I know that would ever like get both." Like, I know people that would get the XXX Tentacion meme, and I know people that would know my dog. But like, they're the overlap is like zero people. What we should do is we should do a memorial for your dog, and then do the. And then in the same post, do that. Why am I? Stop blurring. Stop blurring. No, we'll do, do we'll do it at the end of this. Oh, I just kissed those lips, dude. Um, smooch. Press X to smooch. I can see your nose hairs. Wow, I pressed X. Oh, I'm spamming X. I'm sweating so much, Zach. Yeah. We should probably end it soon. Oh. I'm just saying we had a lot of life to fill the show with, right? This is a life episode. Yeah. Life update. Oh, yeah. Hashtag life update. Oh, yeah. It's, it's been a life update. I'm putting on my air conditioner. I'm sorry. I, need to, I just need to, like, not be hot anymore. Wait, you can't see me. I got, like, a little... Uh, Little si- a pimple thing going on right here. I got a little pop blemish it right now. Right there. Pop it right now. Pop it right no, now. No, it's not. It's not. I've tried. I've been trying all day. It's too early to pop. Just pop it. Just pop I've it. I've been dude. trying, dude. I wish that microphone had. I wish that was a smellophone, or I wish this was smellovision. We can smell so your you zit. Could put that. Yeah, so you could put that freaking microphone in your armpit, dude. I wish the audience um, could smell that. I hope that the audio doesn't sound too bad, but my air conditioner is just blowing right onto the microphone. I'm just so I high. I can't deal with it. Can you do you not? No. Augers. I think we're definitely at like three hours though. So if you want to, I'm down yeah, to keep talking all this in a week if you want. But yeah, I was going to say this is going to be a chore to edit if you, uh, if we don't wrap this up soon. Yeah. If I had more time, I wouldn't care, but I do have not more time. Um, but before we end it though, Zach, what is your favorite food? <laughs> Other than the <laughs> fucking perpetual stew. Apple pie. I'm going to have it tomorrow for my birthday instead of cake. I do it every year. Um, if I like pizza, shit, am I too much of a white boy? What's something interesting I could say? What's an interesting food that I like? Mm. I, I, I have nothing, so I don't know. I'm really excited to try... Um, there's a pizza shop called Venencia's pizza. It's like, I know it's around the Southwest. It was the same pizza Walter White threw on top of the roof and breaking bad. Um, and they have really good deals there. But last time I was there, I saw they had Italian beef arancini. Do you know what arancini has been? No. Arancini are these little like rice, Italian, they're balls of rice that they deep fry. It's like an Italian thing, but this one's stuffed. You know what Italian beef is with a Giardelle, the Italian beef. Is it just beef? Oh my god, no, it's not just beef. 
Oh, I'm it's sorry, beef what is that's it? been like roasted all day with all these peppers and shit. It's like a peppery, uh, really tender, specific flavored beef. Did I ever tell Either you that way, I hate peppers? Go fuck yourself. There's stuff in this arancini. This is a good motion too. This is a good, really good motion. This stuff in them they arancinis. These, yep. They get these rice, ball, rice balls and they're stuffing it with Italian beef. And then they batter it and deep fry it. Oh, I, I, I want to try one of those soon too. That could be my new favorite food once I try that. Okay. Well, I'm happy that you have definitive answers. It's not. I gave you three answers and I'm still not sure about it. Well, I'm happy you gave me definitively undefinitive answers. I like answers. Thai food a lot. I like Thai. He's very funny. Oh, that was a good part of this episode. I got to reach out to Thai. I haven't Dude, talked to him in like a year and a half. so crazy. We can get Bella, <laughs> Bella Chan back on. The thing is, I would love to interview Ty about like his like career and the people he's met, what he's been up to and everything. I just don't know if he can talk about it. So I don't know what I would even talk to Ty about. But I do love the guy. Dude, Zach, you know what I really want to do with you? Other than... What do you want to do Anal. with me? That was really loud. <laughs> um, you you have a switch, right? Is it even plugged in? Actually, funny thing is, it's been plugged in for like three months without me even taking it off. You have is Mario Kart? Yeah. I don't have Mario Kart, but I want to play Mario Kart with you really bad. Okay. Do you, do you have Switch Online? Yeah. Well, I mean, I did. I probably don't right now, but I could easily pay for it. I definitely want to play Mario Kart online with you. I think I think I want to set I have up a Smash and Animal Crossing and Mario Party and uh, Mario Kart and so Smash Super and Mario, Mario Kart are the All only Stars. two. Mario Kart and Smash are the only two that I give a fuck about. Like as far as like playing with friends, those are the only two that I would want to. I don't even have Mario Kart Eight. I just want to play a Mario Kart that is accessible with a bunch of people and all my friends are Mario Kart. I just don't. Um, Look at how old and fat I look from this angle. I can put another old filter on you if you want. No, just Rose you don't need it. Look at this angle. Are you angry too? But I uh, look forward to a to a to a, a game night playing Mario Kart Eight. If you're down, yeah, no, I'm down. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Like uh, getting like six or eight people, just fucking railing mario kart 8 deluxe just six or eight people rail on each other railing lines with each, each other. other um yeah i think that'd be good um but anyway we have to end the podcast don't we yeah i love you we should talk soon i love it let's we'll talk right after this podcast for sure um i'm not even tired which is crazy because i'm normally fucking exhausted at this point i think it's the coffee that i had while while belly chan was filling in for me Dude, what what if Belia Chan talks? To, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tangent. Should I eat a tangential. donut to close out the show? Yeah, you have a donut on you. They opened up, so they op. I'm gonna keep the show going forever. They opened Voodoo Donuts was one of my favorite donuts I've ever had. I had them in Austin, Texas, when I went to RTX, and you were there too at the same time. They just opened their first location in Phoenix, Arizona last night. I waited two hours in line with my girlfriend and brought a big box home for my family, and they're still waiting downstairs. So I will go get one and eat it to close out the show. They're very good. Okay, I'll miss you. Fucking that ass is so fat, bro. This looks kind of gross because they kind of stuffed a lot of donuts in a box and there's all the shit from other donuts on top of it. So it looks kind of gross. Great. This is a Portland cream pie, which is ironically what you will give me when I see you in Cleveland, Ohio. The Portland cream pie, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's a uh, just a Boston cream pie that they call it Portland. Well, oh. I got no cream yet. No cream, cream yet? That was a big ass bite. Hmm. Did they forget the cream in the Portland cream pie that I'm going to give you when you're coming to Cleveland? There's no cream. No. Oh. Maybe this isn't the Portland cream. Maybe this is a different one. Oh, well. Oh, you're actually I'm eating a donut. On to end of the show, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Nobody watched episode 30. Don't know why. Oh, episode 30. Thir- you guys. Uh, but 31 oh, will be better but my fans that's right um and i can't wait for uh a naked picture of zach to show up 
This one for you, Bubba Cam. Dude, that's a cock and balls, bro. That's a cock and balls. <laughs>